Hey, Sharon Neo. Greetings. Uh, happy Tuesday. We'll be starting here in just a moment. I'm going to take some anti nausea medicine. You'll probably see why in <laughs> just a sec. Thanks for being here. Miss you guys. Oh, yeah. I, I can talk about that. It's... I think the, the annoying thing was the copay, and also I was kind of hoping it was something else that would be easier to eat, but um, yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to turn my arms back on. Great, well, thank you for the resub. Oh my gosh, I'll hug you properly more on camera. <laughs> 20 months, wow, that's awesome. Thank you for, you've been uh, watching for a year straight. Thank you so much. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> How you do? All right. I think we're about ready to start. Let me make sure the music's not too loud. I think I had to turn it down a smidge. Let's do that. <laughs> Usually I do that before stream, but we're doing it live. I think that's a little better. How's the music? 
that was fast. <laughs> what, a whole year going by? Or, um, <laughs> having to be away for two weeks? <laughs> I had stuff that I'll, uh, I'll go into. A sec. Okay, I think we're, we're good. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. Check my monitor. All right. Oh, the five stream. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Oh my god. Oh, you also got uh, 450 chirps. <laughs> there we go. Let me take this out of Steamy mood. Boop. I have been away for two weeks because conventions. So part of what I do for work, I, I realize the camera's over there. Also, my eyes just like, this is the land of ADHD right here. There's so much stuff going on, and I'll go into why. But yeah, I have unfortunately had to be away for two weeks due to obligations. Um, hey, Zama, how you do? Whoop, whoop. Oh, also, shout out to my uh, new assistant for Anthrocon. <laughs> I got accepted. So um, in addition to what I just did, I will be very, very much preparing starting in March because uh, that's a honk a big event. Um, I will be uh, having two tables, so I I got to fill it with stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> it's funny. Are you cute? Am I? Am I? Hang on. Wait. Am I? Am I cute? Hang on. Can I? Can I zoom in? Let's see if it'll let me zoom in. Wait, wait. I gotta lean in a shot. I'm adorable. You're cute. Hi. <laughs> So I just got back from Ichiban Con. I still feel dead inside. It was the calmer of the two weekends, dude. That's the scary part. <laughs> I want to pet you. Oh, wait. Wait. Can I? No. <laughs> the, the camera's, like, way over there. <laughs> I had to, like, fly the camera around. This is pretty much what I was doing when I was setting up. I was like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> well, that's appropriate, actually, for what I'm going to be talking about. Thank you for the 50 bits. I was just at an anime convention with the weebs. Awesome people. <laughs> I am, too, a weeb, so I, I am one of, I am amongst you all. <laughs> Let me uh, check my monitor over there. So I had, um, it, hi, Miku, greetings. How are you all doing? Your pal, Duke. Uh, how was the con? Awesome. It was a little weird. So I'm going to, I guess I'll be backtrack. Oh, wait. My arms are backwards. Okay, I'm going this way, and then it's going this way in the camera, so let me see if it'll let me flip it. So that is trippy. Okay, it only flips it for me. Okay, cool, now it's mirrored. Uh, 10 years, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, VR chat! Um, I'm not sure where to start. We're gonna be all over the place today. It'll be like my con panel. So, uh, interesting thing, if I do a Twitch, a live Twitch panel again, I'm gonna ask him for a half hour beforehand, because five minutes was not enough. I thought it was going to pull from the laptop and then I'd have my extra screen. So I had everything cute. Whoa. I had everything cued, um, but it pulled from the other screen. Pardon if my eyes are looking down, the camera's over there. Um, so I took like 20 minutes to fix everything in front of a live audience, not just you guys, but like in person. So I had people in the audience also <laughs> playing with the channel points. It was fun. Ew, a weeb. Gah. Eh. Oh my God. <laughs> no, it was cool. Um, so I guess we'll start with the, the main thing. VR chat, 10 years. Heck yeah. That, that's 10 years of awesomeness. Like this, this wasn't a thing 10 years ago. It was um, everything you're seeing here. It was the evolution. This is 10 years in the making, what you're just seeing in the background here. The fact I can do this. The fact I can wiggle my, my legs when I have trackers. <laughs> just all the possibilities. So to all the devs and the folks in the community contributing, whether you are making art or um, creating worlds that we can do this kind of thing in or characters. Uh, heck, anybody who's just in the game or a fan of, I thank you very much. This is a possibility. My uh, good friend, uh, Kipper, I don't want to like dox his actual name, but uh, Kipper Snacks, aka Weasel Gear, he created this character, and uh, <laughs> I think Mr. Cheese made the hat. But um, I'm, I'm just impressed with uh, what has evolved. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. If you look at like animation, even like where it started, uh, how it started, <laughs> what it's like now, it's just, it's impressive. And I, we talked a little bit about that at one of the live panels at Ichiban Con. So I was a guest at Weekend 2. It was the low sensory version of the con. So I heard it was pretty packed for Weekend 1. Weekend, chill was chill, weekend 2 was chill. I was like, is it still Thursday? I, I was looking around like, where are all the people? There were people. They were just like all packed into light panels. <laughs> but um, it was really nice. I got treated extremely well. Um, it was it was good vibes. It was a good time. Um, I think it was uh, for those vending. I think it was a little more profitable for week one. But as far as the experience, I loved it. It was great. 
It was it was fantastic. Um, same thing with Bee Whisker. Bee Whisker was two weekends before. Um, I staffed that as well. I'm part of the Dealers Den team, and I also had a, a table. I ended up with two kind of like incidentally. <laughs> we had uh, a number of deal- uh, dealers having to back out due to getting sick. It's December, so things happen. Eh. Um, <laughs> holiday gatherings and all. We we lost like four vendors in five days. It was it was a little nuts, but I was like, we made it work. Everything that we encountered. We I don't know why my eyes are going this way. Um, I need to turn off the eye so that I'm like, focus on camera like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> but yeah, 10 years. Oh my gosh. Um, this, this isn't, this wasn't built in a day. They say Rome isn't built in a day, but, um, just the fact that the sign exists is wonderful. Cause if your business made it and in a way it kind of is a business, it's, it's a social platform. That's the formal title, but it's a game. <laughs> it's made in Unity, Blender, and all that good stuff that you like to play with. Um, ZBrush. <laughs> and on Zemma, what what do you like to build stuff in? Because I know you're learning uh, 3D. Um, I don't know, sculpting? But yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm happy this exists. This this is wonderful. I would green screen myself and just like, this, this is great. I can't get enough of this. This is fantastic. <laughs> I, I would not be able to be um, effectively uh, doing what I do without this and the, the community. And I, I am very grateful and thank you. <laughs> Traditionally, um, just Blender? Okay, I need to relearn Blender. I started to like in 2006 and then I stopped. Originally, I wanted to 3, 3D print stuff uh, via um, other folks because I don't have a printer. But um, yeah, this is really cool. Um, my background as a performer is um, I'm an improv performer, mascot performer, and puppeteer. So this is like everything. This is like we're gonna sh- we're gonna stick it in a little box. We're gonna we're gonna package it up, and we're gonna gift it to you because you're awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, it was really cool. So yeah, oh my gosh, VR chat ten years. So we're, we're gonna visit a couple worlds that I had visited early on. Um, I think they're all safe. And if there's a world you would like me to share, uh, I will I will happily share that. I think uh, one of the places I'm going to stop by is Helping Hands. That was uh, one of the places I asked someone else to visit when I didn't have access to VR chat. I had heard about it. Um, if you're not familiar, I have hearing loss. I'm hearing impaired. And there's a whole community of the deaf, hard of hearing, and those wishing to be involved to be able to communicate with others. But the problem with index controllers and other controllers is you can't quite like say make the letter R, which is you cross your fingers or other signs. So they modify it so you can use the game controllers to be able to do what you do. So we'll pop by there later. <laughs> but yeah, Ichiban Con, oh my gosh. So um, it's one of the few conventions I don't have to make a lot of stuff for. It's just a lot of planning. Um, we had three panels this year. Um, I guess due to most of the people coming the previous weekend, our Oswald panel was unusually small. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> we did have people, but I was surprised that the turnout was a little lower than usual. But I'm sure next year it'll be a little better. But I don't know if they're going to keep doing the two weekend thing. So they decided to have two different weekends. So they had a normal... Oh, thank you. Let me, uh, let me grab a... I moved my water. So I have lost one of my water bottles. Uh, the one that is the... Uh, <laughs> it locks twice and I don't I don't dump it all over myself. All right, I got a, I got a leftover water bottle from the uh, secret lounge. Hmm. So as a guest, you have access to the green room and they have bottles of water in there. <laughs> furries and that actually, yeah, furries came out of anime. We're gonna we're gonna go through a little history here. Uh DuckCon and a bunch of other groups, it kind of splintered off from that, I think back in the 80s, I wanna say. So yeah, you had your sci-fi fans and then anime, and then I guess you can throw Trekkies in there too. Every every group overlaps somehow with furries. It's a thing. I met a lot of uh, really cool folks over the weekend, and a number of them had fursuits. So there was a uh, there was a cosplayer on I think Sunday. I, I Matt Matt was their name. Um, excuse me. I had a little snack. Pardon if I belch. Um, Shout out to Matt, you're awesome. And I'm glad that your friend, friend Alex liked the uh, Snapchats. I recorded a couple messages for someone that really, really liked uh, Uncle Scrooge and uh, the duck characters. <laughs> so I, sh- I shout out some messages and um, yeah, they uh, they came back. Uh, I don't know if they use uh, he, him, or they, them, but I'll defuck the they, them. But um, yeah, they came back in a, uh, I think it was a mannequin. Very cute looking. I, I am just impressed. Like fursuits just keep getting better and better. And you are, if you ever want to make a fursuit, you are spoiled for choice. There are so many tutorials and suppliers and pre-made items. You can just mix and match. It's amazing. Wah. 
wait, wait, can I go through my, <laughs> my body? So something really cool, while I was on hiatus, one of the things I needed to take care of was to revamp the whole studio. Um, it looks amazing back here. Um, also, we're in a, we're in like a wormhole. <laughs> um, I bought three shelves from Ikea. I have yeeted a lot of stuff out of here. Um, I forgot, I was actually near a Goodwill today and I completely forgot to go by there to drop off the things. I was like, uh, I wanna go home, it's okay, we're done. But um, that is what I did. <laughs> I, uh, I had a doctor's appointment early today. Um, I'm fine. Uh, I thought I had a lump. Um, it was in a, a, a personal region, I'll just say that. And I thought either like maybe I have a staph infection or uh, something subcutaneous. I don't know. Uh, turns out that I have a cyst, but it's it's harmless, uh, I was told. If, if I really want to, I can get surgery or I can just let alone. And if it uh, gets ingy, I can go get medicine for it. So I'm like, all right, we're leaving it. I have one by my right ear. I was told that uh, I could potentially have nerve damage if it's removed. So I just keep an eye on it. So I'm okay. I was like, as long as it's in cancer, I'm good. <laughs> so no cancer here. <laughs> I am okay. <laughs> and again, thank you for the hydrate. Um, but yeah, Ichiban Khan. How to recap. So we, uh, Dave and I were there with our good pal Brian, uh, who's now down in Georgia road tripping. Uh, he lives out in Kentucky. So road tripped uh, from Kentucky and North Carolina to Georgia. So that's what he did. And I figured with three of us, we'll, we'll get everything set up. But with my table setups, I, I'm usually like laying everything out and be like, okay, you can help me schlep the things now. And then I, I re Tetris it and then you can help me schlep the thing. So it's a hurry up and wait game. But when we checked in, um, we discovered we had two tables. I was like, oh, I only have one tablecloth. Should we go back? I don't know. Um, they, they gave us special parking, which I highly, highly appreciated. We were allowed to go off site. And then again, thank you again for, for everybody uh, from every, well, let me start over. Thank you everyone at Ichiban Khan. We were treated really well and really appreciate coming back and doing panels each year. So the first one was on Oswald Lucky Rabbit. The second one was about Twitch. If you watch it, keep in mind, I had a lot of tech issues. The only thing that really worked was the internet. But um, I blew through my outline. I want to try it again. Um, I did keep copies for anybody who wanted to from the audience to read them. So I did let people pick up copies of those. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of work. I, I, I was up late. I, I edited videos and I showed maybe like 10% of them. Um, I might try to do a online recording one day and have an online version of the panel available. Um... I put a lot of work and thought in it, and unfortunately, a lot of it didn't get shown. So I'm going to try it again if they would like next year. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a half hour buffer to start, <clears throat> an hour for the panel, and a half hour for teardown. Because we ran right till the people had to come in. So the group of us, we picked up my stuff and we dropped it off on the left side of the room. And then I had to disassemble it. And then I showed a couple of awesome folks out in the hall how VTubers work. So it was just, it was a lot of stress. Oh my gosh. Um, but we made it work. We made it work. Uh, we had an awesome turnout um, for the Twitch panel as well as the um, the Rare Cartoon Show where we show and talk about rare cartoons that have a theme. So I think it was a Disney and Warner Brothers 100th anniversary. So we showed a lot of like overlap and I think there was like a Fleischer cartoon show in there. Let me just make sure this is working. Okay, there we go. But yeah, it was it was good times. Um, I don't normally spend as much time as I, I do in the game room, but... Um, yeah, I hung out with uh, Aziz, who is an awesome artist that was sitting across from us over in the uh, Artist Alley area. So, interesting thing. Um, Anime Artist Alley and Furry Artist Alley, they're very similar in concept, but the Anime Artist Alley reminds me more of the dealer's den at a furry convention, but not commercialized. So if you have, like, let's say, resellers <clears throat> or um, or uh, commercialized vendors like publishers, for instance, that would be more of the, the dealer side at the anime convention, whereas the artists will be producing prints and keychains and crocheted pieces and apparel. It's a lot of cool things that they have designed. And that's a lot of fun. Um, for Dave and I, for each year at Ichiban Khan, we do a mix. So we have a lot of comics. Um, I had a lot... Hey, family! How you do? I think you popped in my Twitch panel. <laughs> I hope you were entertained by all the tech issues. Um, I was trying to show the VTuber on the screen, and then... Uh... <laughs> okay, we will do. Thank you, Ron Williams. One second. Here's my bottle. Was it? Yeah, it was great. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. We gotta do that. That's funny. You have great timing. Just wanna say that. All right. Mm. I think I saw that 
like that show. Not, I think it was just a recording of it. Um, I think he had sprayed enough water on himself and the stage for all the gags he did. <laughs> I think that is what it's from. I think it's from like an HBO special or something he did. Um, so I think lost my train of thought. <laughs> But yeah, the, um, oh, that's right. We went over to the game room. I was supposed to do uh, a little mini photo shoot. Can I join your viewer chat? Uh, hello, Fenrir. Um, at the moment, it's just myself, but, uh, you're welcome to join the community and let us get to know you more. Um, I think it's just going to be me today, but, um, I'm plotting stuff for Saturday, so I might do more of a group thing. Maybe we will pay party animals. I miss it. I need practice. I need practice of party animals, but exclamation point Discord, if you'd like to join the Discord. Uh, we just kicked out a, uh, a bot today. <laughs> so, Zama, you were right. I just, I, I, I mean, the AI or just whoever's making these things is getting better and better. And by that, I mean fucking annoying. Please don't. Um, thank you very much, Unia. Um, so we had a bot that it had a furry character icon, which could have just been generated. And a bio that looked like somebody legit. So I was like, okay. Um, so I, I they, they reached out to a friend of mine. I don't know if they want me to name drop. So I was like, hi, did you need anything? Um friend of mine got messaged twice what's up um i never um oh i'm sorry i forgot to turn those off uh actually be right back let me put the correct ones on 30 seconds here <laughs> um but yeah they're they're getting more and more sneaky i got a uh, message on a, a specific website i don't want to endorse and uh, i'm like yeah they are getting sneakier and sneakier so be vigilant make sure they are legit when the uh, when someone messages you. I got one that um, I'm waiting to find out if it was um, someone I met at the con. Alright, let me see. Okay, let me go ahead and take that off. If a mom wants to uh, refund those channel points, feel free. Um, I will uh, try to get the rest on here. Okay, that's it. I have some of the redeems just for VR chat, some for desktop, and some for both. I wish there was a way to do the Panini Press in VR chat. That would be hilarious. I just like suddenly get kidnapped by a giant cat panini. And... Bang. Yep, that's all of them. Okay, cool. Alright, let's get back to the stream. There we go. Bam. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's all fixed. There. So that, that's what I do. I like to keep uh, specific redeems for um, each platform. But yeah, I, um, I watched... Uh, <laughs> I watched Z's who said he was extra rusty playing Smash. The guy who owned all the consoles in the game room, he like kicked his butt. I'm like, man, if that's rusty, what, I gotta see what you look like in normal. <laughs> I meet you at the con video. Yes, it was entertaining. For oh, very cool. Yeah. Um, thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it. I have learned that if when things go wrong, you just keep going. Whether you were on a stage, on, like in person or on a virtual stage, uh, you are being watched. So it's like you can either freak out or just roll with it. So F it, we're doing it live, as the phrase goes. So, um, yep, we, that's that's how we roll. It's like my, my whole thing was um, I wanted one screen so I can cue things and one screen to project. So both the in-person and virtual audience could see that. Unfortunately, I forgot sometimes to switch it for the virtual audience, and then I put something on the wrong screen. But things happen. It was literally, in person, a Twitch stream. Like, things happen. Things break. My VTuber wasn't going on at one point. It was pixely for some reason. My arms weren't working. I couldn't do this. I'm like, what's going on? As soon as I got home, everything worked. I'm like, why? <laughs> but that's, that's what happens. It's like, things break. And you, you, you make the best of the situation, so... That's the one thing about improv, is it's like, you, you just roll in the moment. Nothing is scripted, and when things happen, things happen. Um, I've had things break live on the air. Uh, my first time when I was part of Papa Barks. Uh, <laughs> why, Tick? Why did you do this? That's right. <laughs> oh man, there's a video I wish I could play on stream. Um, I did an improv thing with a bunch of folks from Cleanup Crew. A uh, group of us met in Audience Anarchy, and if you don't know what that world is, it's basically uh, Mad Libs, but you're doing a stage show, and um, the audience suggests things. There's a moderator, so whoever the game master is has to y yay or nay things, so um, if it shouldn't be there, don't do it. <laughs> so, um, it was just us. I recorded it. I cannot show this publicly, but um, I will hopefully make a censor version at one point. I don't know how to do uh, refund points. Oh, okay. You go into uh, moderator mode, 
And it should be on the left side. I, I, I don't know if I can run through that right now, but um, if you want, I can do it after the stream. <laughs> um, but hey, I can go over that with you later if you'd like. It's not a big deal. Um, but <laughs> yeah, things happen. It's all good. But yeah, uh, let's see. Ichimon Khan. Uh, remind me, sure, Neo. Um, we're going to be streaming till about uh, 8 o'clock local time because I am still kind of recovering. I feel like somebody beat me up and gave me lunch money. So that that's that's basically what I feel like right now. <laughs> um, yesterday, was I was dragging. Oh my gosh, I was dragging so much. It's like someone to get me out of bed would have to like, just eat me. But um, I had Brian coming over. Um, so... I was at the studio, he was at the house, and came over. Um, I bought an iPhone back in December, but not for its intended purpose. Um, I am trying to think how to describe it. Um, Ritual Neo is working on a art kit for me, so it will be able to... Uh, let me see if I can... Yeah, so I can make the character blink and wink and... Stick my tongue out. And tongue needs to come out a little bit more on the character, but um, I'll be able to use my face in real time. And if I need to, I can, I can hit a hotkey for certain things, like uh, turning the hat on and off. Um, but it's, it still needs some TLC, but I started working on setting up an iPhone for that. Um, it was discounted. It's an iPhone 11. Um, I've never owned, like, Apple devices. Uh, also, your workshop is great. Oh, thank you! I um, unfortunately had an, uh, several allergy attacks. I I thought I was I thought I had COVID. It was really bad. Also, part I don't know why my eyes are. Apparently, the floor is really extra interesting. Um, thank you very much. So, describe what I did. Uh, I got it. It looked like I had trashed everything. I was looking for four important things. So, I just like took things out of drawers, boxes. It looked like I trashed the place. Uh, in the end, I removed a lot of things. I threw out a lot of things. I threw out a lot of boxes, mostly boxes. Um, I, I do like to chew on boxes. I am a fox. We, we do like to chew on things, as one does. Mostly behind the McDonald's. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to visit the McDonald's world. We'll be doing that today. Um, <laughs> I, I took an idea, uh, a page out of Tavo VR's book. Excellent and very smart guy, very talented filmmaker, um, videographer as well. Um, he bought a curtain room divider, which was on two rods, floor to ceiling, um, with a, a rod that goes in the middle. And he ditched the rod in the middle part, didn't need that part. Took, um, what do you call it, a tripod mount that with the threading on it, and you attach it to where the center pole thing would go. And then you attach your base stations and you can hoist it. It is a apartment or just wall friendly way to secure your base stations. And my arms are doing better. When I did the improv thing, I, apparently I was covered by part of the desk. Because it. Let me see if I can make it disappear. Can I make my arm disappear? It's not doing it. The one time I wanted to. Oh, I kind of did it right there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I'm still sitting. I do own trackers now. Um, I bought them uh, back in December. But I am working on a plan to... Uh, support myself where I don't have to put weight on my feet, but I'm also not swinging. So most of it would be on my left leg, but barely touching the ground. I'm still working on that. I do officially now have permission to put uh, anchors in my ceiling. Uh, I have to be the one to do it. And it has to be in a, um, a stud. So I will be working on that in the future, maybe in March. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I also would like to develop something. And I'm gonna need uh, help with some like engineer folks to make a collapsible uh, support uh, maybe out of aluminum, I'm thinking, um, that is, uh, budget friendly, that will allow somebody who's either full-time or part-time in a wheelchair to be able to stand and use VR with the ability to lean forward and be able to retract themselves. So that is something in the future I really want to work on for accessibility. I saw some folks are trying to work on one-handed gaming controllers, and that's something in the future I would also like to get involved with because if you have a limb difference, being able to game... Uh, it's a little difficult. Um, there was a gamer that I saw on YouTube just started up a channel. I think it's uh, Champutee. Uh, he talked about how he lost his, I believe it was his right arm, and how he still wants to game. So that's something in the future I would like to look into. I really like um, the idea of developing accessibility devices for, for gamers. I, I think y'all can vibe with that. So I think that would be a lot of fun. So let's see. Um, in the game room, I... <laughs> At Ichiban Con, they, um, I'm trying to think of this describe. They had a bunch of different, uh, arcade machines. A lot of them were, were Japanese. Uh, but I, I got to watch some folks do Smash as well as this really cool looking, it was almost like DDR, but 
on steroids. So instead of four four pads that you would you know dance on, it had five. So it was like two in the top, two in the bottom, one in the middle, instead of like you know the D pad. So that was really cool. So it had you as, as a group. You can you can cross and then continue and then cross or go in a circle. They had you go in a circle or go the other way. So I saw a group of two. It was like two two ladies doing it, and then like a group of four doing it. I'm like, oh my god, that's that's nuts. But I loved seeing um, them using the uh, the dance system. It had a lot of K-pop songs, but it was updated to like 2023. So uh, the software is uh, still supported. I don't know what the game was. It was pretty cool. Um, there were some uh, grab machines also in the room, but um, the one thing I wanted people want them. It was a uh, cup of bar with a little yuzu on <laughs> I saw people walking around with it. I'm like, dang it, they're out. I was like, D do you have any more of those? Um, but they, they sold out of them. Um, or rather, people won them. So maybe in the future, it'll be fun. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, it was pretty cool. I didn't get to go to the cosplay. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a good turnout. Um, one thing about having, uh, I won't say it's low numbers, but reduced capacity, I'd say. Um, if you wanted to go see something, more than likely you'd be able to see something. So it wasn't wall-to-wall -wall people. It wasn't a river of people like it was last year. So it was enjoyable. I, I like to think of it as a staycation because I, I am um, drivable distance where we're, we're put up in the hotel and we're giving presentations and it's it's nice. It's nice to meet fans. It's nice to see friends again, meet new people. I met a lot of cool a lot of cool folks. So it was it was a good times. But yeah, with the um, getting back to my workshop. So what I did was. Um, for the studio, I have my, my workspace that I sew, and sometimes I'll draw. I, I usually draw at my desk. I have a board that's a lean. <clears throat> and I just, I overhauled everything. Unfortunately, I uh, had a reaction to a lot of the dust, and I got very sick for about a week. I thought that I had COVID. I tested myself for COVID. I know Dave wasn't getting sick, so it was just a, a horrible reaction, but I'm okay. I'm up. Well, I'm sitting now, but I'm up, right? I still did the event. Um, I think by Friday, I was 100% over it. Um, I'm still kind of nasally, but that's just, just how I am. Um, so let's see. I have, I'm going to look to my right here. So I have a bunch of storage stuff for conventions. Like um, I got some stuff I'm planning for Anthrocon. So if you're going to be an Anthrocon, Heck yeah. If you're not, I can mail it. <laughs> if you're interested in anything I have. Sadly, I can't do the anime con happening here in my city. It's $80 for all three days, not including uh, food and drink. Yeah, it gets expensive, but it also goes to operating costs, so it comes back again. Um, I met somebody, uh, funny enough, who bought a bandana for me. It was at a uh, Joanne Fabric. Um, I forget if it, the con had gone up to like 70 or 75. It was just like, oh, it's too expensive. But um, yeah, it is a hobby. Um, it, it's not a cheap hobby. But it is a hobby um, in the end. But yeah, no worries. Sometimes you have to kind of pick and choose. Um, the reason I'm able to go to various conventions throughout the year is because it's part of my job. Uh, until something else comes along, I vend. So this is part of what I do. So let's see. I have um, some plush strawberries. Uh, that's the only spoiler you're getting. Um, I have some boba and corgis. Um, let's see. I put on uh, the third shelf um, some supplies. I got my inks for my Copics that I, I'm sorry, uh, not Copics. What are they called? Trias. They are retired markers. I have a bunch of art supplies. I got a little boba plush. I have some books. Underneath that, I got my art markers. Underneath that, I have some storage bins. And on the side of all the nooks, I have little plushes. And that one has a photo album. I have more supplies. Uh, my sewing stuff underneath it. I can't see the center shelf. The center shelf has on the very bottom bolts of fabric. I have uh, lanyards. I have a bunch of mulgas. So I do like a mulga. It's like the one Pokemon I really like because it's based on a Japanese store flying squirrel. I'm like, I love squirrels. I'll just I'll just collect all the things if I find them. Um, let's see. I am looking off camera. I have more fabric above that and storage solutions. So yeah, it's it's been really cool. Um, all the way to the left of that, I have um, let's see. Streaming supplies, uh, the box for the R kit, <laughs> which is aka the iPhone box. I've been messaged, hello. Uh, <laughs> my phone just went off twice. Um, my retired leap motion, some extra paper, um, extra convention supplies, mostly charms and lanyards. And um, yeah, good times. To in front of me, let me let me start read back up. Let's see. Um, yeah, it wouldn't include food and drink. It's you have to kind of budget. That's the only thing, um, which I can go into if you guys would be interested. Let's see. In front of me, I have come up with um, 
cable organization. So I found out Target, they have uh, trimmable, um, not quite zip ties. That's what I was looking for, reusable zip ties. But um, these are little Velcro strips. And they're awesome. So I have now two power strips underneath here. Uh, one of them always stays on. The other one only gets turned on if it is for the VR equipment. So I have the cable, which which is great. I love this. The base station cables are really nice and long. So I have them going to a center point. And also my headset, that also plugs into the base station. So all three things turn on at the same time, which I absolutely love. I used to have to turn them all on one at a time. I will sure first yeah starting over <laughs> i will for sure buy more merch at ac i use the silly burb keychain for my house key. that's fantastic I'm, I'm really happy i'd like to make practical things or things people like to gift i i'm in the um i think it's the anthrocon telegram chat for the dealers since i was accepted um one of the things I like to focus on are affordable things. Most of them fit in a pocket. Some things I'm bringing AC won't be able to, but you can pack them. And th being able to transport things is important because, you know, you have limited capacity when you travel, especially when you fly. Uh, but yeah, I have uh, pretty much I try to make it affordable range like three dollars is like the cheapest and 20 is like the most expensive for various things um, I don't have any fur seats for sale. Um, those are definitely more of a high-end thing Let's see. Uh, also sadly, I can't do TFF or that anime con because I'm moving. Oh cool Are you staying within the city or are you doing like a big move? That's exciting. Moving's fun um, I haven't moved in a long time and I'd like to like to keep it that way. Technically, I live in two places I have uh, Dave's place is where my studio is and then the house is nearby. I don't want to dox anything, but it's it's kind of nearby um, Let's see. Oh, yeah for the studio. So what I have on here and I have um, <laughs> cable managed all the things I have my auxiliary portable monitor on a easel. I have a leap motion over here uh, it's a leap motion too, so it's a new one off a of C cable, which I learned. Uh, C, C is definitely the way to go. I prefer C. Uh, I have a stream deck, the laptop that's allowing me to, to do this thing. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, my other monitor, a phone holder that's probably going to get retired at some point, a lamp, and a naked um, armature that's meant for a future microphone. So maybe next year I will get a XLR. Uh, Mike, those are the good ones. Um, but yeah, definitely save your money. Um, it's important. I <laughs> This year's getting expensive so far. Uh, $3,800 to fix my car. I'm like, thanks, I hate it. I drove back from Be Whiskered. And um, I drove back on New Year's Day. And my check engine light went on. It turns out I needed a new Cadillac converter. I wasn't happy. I maxed out one car, but I, I got it taken care of. So it was like a bunch of small things, three tires, Cadillac converter, and what was the other one? Struts. That's it. I had saved up for the struts. The other stuff was a surprise. Like, congratulations. Here's a bill. <laughs> but I got it taken care of. Uh, today was the doctor's appointment. It's like, thanks. I don't need any more surprises. I, I'm good. <laughs> we, we got, what, 11 more months to go? <laughs> just just keep it at the beginning of the year. I'll recover by July. It'll be good. <laughs> so that was a thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, trying to think what else with Ichiban Khan. Um, gosh, there are just a lot of uh, really cool cosplays. Somebody lost a Genshin Impact pin. I felt bad. Like It looked 3D printed. This thing looked professional. And uh, the post ripped off. I feel bad. Just be happy you don't own a big truck. Oh gosh, no. I own a sedan. <laughs> it, it's, in more, it's, it's practically a new car now. As long as the engine's fine, we're good. <laughs> if the engine's not fine, I'm borrowing Dave's car. Dave has... Um, Dave's card needs a little TLC. <laughs> it has um, it has various <laughs> lights on, and he doesn't drive that much, so it's all good. <laughs> I'm uh, oh poor Dave. I have to drive his butt over to the dentist. Um, he's been uh since October of 2022 dealing with an oral surgery thing. Um, so long time ago when he was a kid, his uh, he knocked his teeth out. It got shipped back in his mouth, and as of 2022, he had a bone infection. So unfortunately, his two front teeth had to be removed he wears a um i don't know what to call it a i want to say dentures they're not dentures but a little thing in the front um except when he's eating and then um so it's like do this one step heal for a bit do this other step heal for a bit and unfortunately where they put the little post in for the implant um it didn't quite heal right but the other side did so now they gotta do that side it's nuts we're hoping in six months he's gonna have a full smile so it's already paid for it's just the hurry up and wait a long time game but it'll be worth it he'll be okay 
Um, he's not gonna be happy for about two plus weeks, but um, he'll be alright. His birthday's coming up too, so I'm like, I hope you can eat normal food <laughs> by uh, February 6th. So um, we're gonna try to do something on the 9th for him. So his birthday's next month. <laughs> Robert just had his. I got him a little little dice cup thing because uh, the year before at Ichiban Con, there was a dice seller. I was like, oh, I'd like to get some of your fancy dice. He likes to play a lot of tabletop games. And he was worried the metal dice would damage the table. So I waited a whole year to get him this, like, I wouldn't say padded. It's like this final, it's kind of thick, this final dice bowl thing that snaps together. And so you just roll your dice in that and then you're good. <laughs> so I, I waited a whole year to get that. So I also bought a little um, Amolga when I was at the con. But yeah, I'm trying to think what stands out. Um, we had three people in the audience in particular um they were really cool um they were just laughing their butts off we were showing i think it was hey crystal hey you welcome out in i i'm back i had to take a two-week hiatus due to event prep um so i redid the studio it took an entire week and then i also had uh be whiskered and then ichiban khan so now i'm back and uh i missed y'all <laughs> it's good to be here we're gonna change worlds here in a little bit um but yeah 10 years of vr chat so let me uh, let me turn around um i'm gonna put the camera back on normal and then we'll talk a little bit about be whiskered uh anchor oh that's too close too close okay so, that's what I've been staring at. I'm going to fall off the platform. Wee! <laughs> Wah! There we go. I'm back. So, normally when you come into this world, this is what you see. I'm going to... Oh, man. That's way too zoomed out. Okay. So, can I fly the camera out? Let's do that. We'll do that. I think that's pretty okay. Trying to... Nope, nope. Too close. Too close. Am I squatting? I am squatting. That's why I'm like, why is this weird? Okay. So camera, come here. Oh, no, it's in fly mode. <laughs> it's my panel from Mitch Monk, huh? Oh, my God. There we go. I'm okay with sick for two weeks. Oh, no! <laughs> I agree. Thank you for the hundred bits, by the way. You mean the swirling vortex of Teller? That's it, dude! That's right. Here, let's go back over there. Okay, I'll take it out of flying and... Okay, fine. I can't put it in flying. Thanks. I hate it. Everybody gets up, peace. There we go. Okay. Yes, there's a swirling vortex of doom. We'll go back over there. So it's a, it's a little platform. I, I hope it's staying. It's pretty cool. They do have a, a really cool uh, soundtrack for this. But yes, that's the swirling vortex. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea, chat. This is going to be fun. And thank you again, Gray. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna fly into it. This is gonna be fun. Avatars, avatars, doing a thing that avatar does. Oh! Peter Matthews 007, welcome to the stream. Hello, my name is Eric. I'm a variety streamer, and we're gonna go fly into that vortex. Thanks for being here. Hope you're doing well, and a happy Tuesday. That's a Molga. You're, you can't fly, though. Okay, there it is! Haha, -ha, we're gonna do this, chat. All right, we're gonna go into the void. Oh, I gotta, I gotta turn my my flight on. Flying. There we go. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna move the camera up to that side. There we go. Oh, this goes on for a while. Oh wait, <laughs> you guys are on the other side. We'll just do that. Okay. Oh, this goes on for a while. <laughs> wow, the Doctor Who Vortex. Ooh. <laughs> I, I, I can put the music on. Give me like two seconds. I can do that. All right. We're, we're going to put the music on because we're going to be topical. I'm going to look for a Chip Tunes version so my VOD doesn't get muted. <laughs> All right, one Doctor Who coming up if my browser loads. <laughs> okay. My computer's like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Doctor Who chip tunes. All right, I'm going to get whatever. Whoa, okay. There's a YouTube channel called Girl with the Dogs. Occasionally get some cats and. All right, 16 bit. Uh, We'll go with that. Okay, that works. Here we go. If, if it plays. 
All right, hopefully that's not too loud. Okay. Oh, I fell off the platform. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> trying to stay in the vortex. <laughs> Maybe it'll let me change the camera. Well, there we go. Oh. It, it won't let me go forward. I'm actually going away from the <laughs> left Doctor Who. You're are you are awesome. I'm being sucked into the vortex. It, it literally will not let me <laughs> turn back. There we go. <laughs> I can see if there's a Doctor Who world. Let's do that. I'm gonna look up Doctor Who for you. Movie Dalek world. Okay. The TARDIS! Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're gonna go to the TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, your remote's uh, bopping along with this. <laughs> it's boop, that's right. I will boop you when I am uh, loaded. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put my tunes on. There we go. Alright, we're back to tunes. <laughs> Let's see what kind of Daleks we have. We're also going to stop by a couple places. Uh, Midnight Rooftop. That was the first place I had really spent a lot of time in. Uh, just trying to learn how the game worked and everything. I'm sorry, the social platform. That is VR chat. <laughs> but yeah, I got sucked in the vortex. I couldn't turn around. I'm like, well, it's the it's the Doctor Who opening. <laughs> so you're not wrong there, uh, Peter Matthews. Uh, do you prefer Peter? Uh, please let me know. <laughs> the world is called the TARDIS. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to go back to being a fox. We'll talk a little bit about uh, Ichimon Khan and Miwasker and what else is happening back here. Also, a uh, couple of interesting things are happening later this year. Also, why am I getting so many messages? It's always when I'm live on air. Let's see. Nope, mine is... Okay, yep, that is a bot that's messaging me, Zema. Making sure there's nothing pressing happening. Probably not. Okay, we are still good. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna go back to being my little fox. We'll see what's in this place. Oh, we can go make a, a phone call. What? Wait, oh, okay, it's an avatar world. That's what this is. I don't care. Just don't call me late for dinner. Oh, I mean, I will happily give you cookies. My, uh, my otter comes with sushi. <laughs> Let's see. Can we go in the... No! They won't let me- Oh! Whoa! Wait, 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 where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was huge. Wait, hang on. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what? Where- Where'd everything go? Um. Oh, it really is bigger on the inside. Holy crap. Well, um. Peter, is this what you were more interested in? This is cool. My eyes are glowing a lot. Wow. If I poke something randomly, will it explode? Like if I... Boop, 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 boop. Okay, it didn't explode. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, this is a cool world. Oh my gosh. I I like it. <laughs> is there a downstairs? Oh, I think we were downstairs. Okay. Ooh. Nope, nothing over there. Okay. We could uh, vaporize ourselves down there. Excellent. 
Well, this is cool. That's one of the things I love about VR chat is you never know what you're going to discover. And this is all made by members of the community. So someone who is a huge either BBC or Doctor Who fan. So let's see what else they have. This is neat. Remember, it's, it's bigger on the inside, just like my house. This was Matt Smith's TARDIS. Ooh, fancy. All right. Okay, that was one TARDIS. One, one TARDIS. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Oh, there's several TARDISes here. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Neat. You're gonna have to tell me what everything is. <laughs> you, you don't have to use VR chat, do you? <laughs> da, da, da. We have a... Uh, do do tortoises. <laughs> Neat. I I I started out with the black and white Doctor Who's. Um, I'm not up on the new ones. <laughs> this is cool. Who played Scrooge McDuck in the recent one? He was also one of the doctors, and I'm blanking on the guy's name. I am a bad Disney comic colorist. I shouldn't. <laughs> I did not work on the Ducktales show though. <laughs> Jody Whitaker is cool. Oh, is she the the recent doctor? Is any other there was there there are non gender specific but uh, the female presenting doctor David Tennant okay David Tennant is a wonderful Scrooge he's just a good actor overall I I really like his stuff this is so cool I love classic sci fi it's awesome <laughs> David Tennant that's right and he is Scottish Woo! okay all right we are uh, we've been extracted okay so there's a third one. It's really trippy. Okay, we're gonna go backwards. Let's see. What? Oh no! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> um, I think that's the other TARDIS. I think it's bro. What? I guess we're respawning. I I'm I'm literally stuck in the wall. <laughs> Data ten and paid the tenth doctor. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, we're free. <laughs> All right, gonna try this again. Okay. I think this world is broken. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Okay, it's in front of me. Okay. Can I can I skadoosh in? No? UBC S P M C Welcome to the Birdhouse. I am trapped in a TARDIS. <laughs> okay, that one's broken. <laughs> Let's not go on that one. <laughs> I'll try this one. Ooh, classic. Hey, let me in. Really? Okay, this world needs a little bit of work, but you can kind of see what they're doing. I can't tell which is the in and the out. <laughs> All right, not that one. <laughs> All right, one more. Or maybe that that was the one I was trying to get into. Okay, this world's a little bored. <laughs> That's okay. Um, well, let's head over to McDonald's because that was one of the... Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. There's one more back there. Okay. You can also play one of the classic doctors. <laughs> there you go. The sun. We're all gonna get cancer now. <laughs> all right, let's go over to McDonald's and see what's happening. They like to retheme it every month. <laughs> thank you, Ray. Thank you also for the fifty bits. <laughs> let's see, uh, McDonald's. Let's see what the toys are. McDonald that works too. I think it's the one with six hundred plus people in it. <laughs> We are not going into a public instance. Don't do that thing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to think what else happened at Chimuncon. Oh, it was mostly just ta uh, speaking of McDonald's foods here. Oh, g get some noms. This is perfect. You can just have a listen and enjoy your food. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> what you having? Uh, I kind of ate my dinner for breakfast. They changed the logo. What? <laughs> There's Furbies on the McDonald's logo. Nuggies and sweetie. Yum. I had, the last time I tried to have chicken nuggets, it was like freaking, yep, this is the world. It was freaking sandpaper. Uh, it was love at first fry. Where, where's my body? Okay, I'm, okay, there we go. Um, so there's the sign. All right, let's see what the hoverboards are this time. Uh, it was, oh. Um, oh! Oh, it's Valentine's Day! That is coming up. So these are all Valentine's Day. Ghost Eric! Hey yo! Oh, they're still doing Furbies, but they're do they have the biblically accurate one? Oh, this is weird. Um What? Hang on, hang on. It's spilling out um little hearts. 
That's hilarious. So we do have Furbies again. Um, they are... <laughs> My controller is not being nice. Okay. I can apparently only go forward and back with this. All right. Getting off that. Okay, now the controller is working. All right, let's see what's going on. Aw, they have taken out the Christmas tree and there are balloons. So we're going to celebrate St. Valentine's Day. And if you don't have a certain somebody, you still reach out to somebody and say, I love you, man. Or just, you're awesome. <laughs> so let's see, what do we have on the wall art? We have something generic. There we go. <laughs> oh, the ceiling. Okay, I like that. They have... Hang on, I'll have to back up and do this. I would go to the Kmart world, but I don't think they have those as private instances. So that's the art on there. <laughs> I really liked it when they had the Star Trek one. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's turn that back around. Let's see if they have any new surprises. Because last time they took out the chicken nuggies. And I'm like, what the heck? My boyfriend and I will be going to Disney World for Valentine's. That sounds so schmoopy. I hope you have amazing time and a magical day. Every day is a magical day when you're at Disney World. Heck yeah. Um, pick your, um, what do you call that? Not smart pass. Um, the thing where you can like slot your timestamp. Oh, I love you too. There you go. So this is... <laughs> they have the creepy thing. That is not a Furby. I repeat, that is not a Furby. It's like, what? what is that thing? It's creepy. Oh, oh, do they have the... They no longer have the biblically accurate uh, Furby anymore. We're, we're back to cutesy Furby. <laughs> Did you say Star Trek? Yeah, they had a Star Trek theme one. Oh my gosh. I gotta show you guys this. <laughs> Love Grimace. Bring back your shakes, man. I need to hallucinate it. <laughs> oh yes, they have happy mailboxes. Heck yeah. Um, it's not fast pass. The thing that they have at Disney, they it, you you go into the digital queue, and I can't remember what it's called. Wait, first I'm gonna see if they brought back the chicken nuggies because they took them out. Did they bring back chicken nuggies? <gasps> no, I'm sorry, Gray. They have taken the chicken nuggies out, but they do have fries. If if you want some fries, there you go. Hey, oh, you're really hungry. Man. Lightning Lane, that's right. Wasn't like Genie something now? You guys are really hungry. You must like starch and salt. <laughs> G G Genie Plus, that's what it is. Yeah, they um they did something different when I was at in Disneyland, but that was in 2019. I, <laughs> I wrote Splash Mountain with Tony Baxter. I, I I can't honestly say I'll ever be able to do it again, but it was pretty cool. I, I do like the box art. So whoever maintains this world does an amazing job because they retheme it like practically every month. Okay, what sauce do they have? They have sweet and sweet and sour. Okay, so let's see, what do we got today? We have a little grimace for me and everything's on the floor. There we go. We got that. Um can I get the burger? Here we go. Wait, it rewraps it? Oh, so that explains a lot. Alright, and what we got here? We have a little owl Furby. I'm gonna put these a little closer. That is a water bottle. <laughs> there we go. And we'll do one more. Come here. I can't reach you. We have a little Jasper Blue Canary Furby with pink eyeshadow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits, Gray. No nuggies. Sorry, Gray. Excuse me while I comically step away from my laptop and stuff stuff, stuff, stuff around the room. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they stole the freaking... You, you know, you should uh, reach out to the guys. I'm like, why no nuggies? I bet you I bet you they're in one of the boxes. Hang on. All right. We're going to do this. We're just going to... Oh, oh, I found your nuggies. Hang on. Give me, give me the box. There we go. I found your nuggies. You, you only get four. Also, the box is stuck shut. I have IRL nuggies. Oh, good, because this one's holding them hostage. No nuggies. <laughs> would you would you like a soft serve? Yeah, I hope they're not like sandpaper, because I swear. I had I tried getting nuggies last year. It was March. It was, um, they had the, the, or maybe it was April. They had the shake. The, um, shamrock shake. Uh, you can only have four motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
And um, of course, the ice machine's broken because they they have to make sure they hit it with a mallet every day just to make sure. Come on. Sure, we'll have chocolate. Okay. Give to me. No. Oh, I. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. There you go. That was a water bottle out on the floor. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's see if they change the back area. I'm just gonna kick that water bottle off to the side. <laughs> Did they change the office? All right. No, that still looks the same. Okay. Also, I'm gonna deck my head in here. Did they change anything in there? No, okay. Here, actually, they changed the office. Okay, DeLorean's still there. Nope, this is... Oh, they put a Furby in here. That's about it. Uh, questions are the same. Okay, they have not changed this world. Other than... <laughs> Ice... Let me turn that around. You can kind of read it. I solemnly swear to forget straws and never fix the ice cream machine. <laughs> there you go. So let's go head over to Midnight Rooftop. But yeah, this is the McDonald's world if you, um... Managing aggressive customers. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> so, um, do you have PTSD from this world, Gray? Just, just curious. <laughs> or it's more like, I don't work... Oh, wait, do... Oh yeah, I was told do not go in the bathroom while streaming. Okay. All right, midnight rooftop. Okay, since Emma, you had asked me about that earlier. Here we go. Midnight rooftop. Perfect. Wow, that's a lot of people at midnight rooftop. All right, invite only instance. <laughs> I'm trying to think with uh with Ichiban Khan. I don't know if there's like a particular moment other than like um oh yeah we did go off site. So Brian, um Dave, myself, uh, we had a, another friend come along, uh, Jasmine and Aziz, who was a uh, one of the artists in the artist alley. We went off site over to the uh, Pokeball place, and that was that was good. I need to start exercising. Uh, when you got to go, you got to go. Yeah, it's true. It's true, Peter. <laughs> Slightly off topic. My brother used to work at Little Caesars and for two years they threw the old pizzas on the roof. Oh, wow. Okay, tell me stories later. That Or, or in chat. That's cool. Um, <laughs> were they really bored? <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I think I have thrown things on roofs, please. Uh, welcome to Midnight Rooftop. Please wait. We'll Essex load. Okay. Oh, I have loaded. Hey, yo. Why, where, where am I? Uh, welcome to Midnight Rooftop. Uh, toggle... Uh, the handheld menu, SBUI, push your right joystick. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 that's new. Okay. How do I get rid of it? Okay. <laughs> I just run away. Oh, for sure. Joey, how you do? How you doing? Oh my gosh, good to see you. Happy for your chat day. Yeah, are, are, are you busy? Are you at work by any chance? Are you home? <laughs> if you want to pop in, please let me know. I'll be happy to have you. Thanks for popping in there. Oh, for sure. Yeah, um, so... What? How did that get started? Ah! What the? There's a guy in there. <laughs> I'm good. I just wrapped up two conventions. I'm trying to find how to get to the roof of the midnight rooftop. Um, I just wrapped up two conventions. So I was at Bee Whiskered and Ichiban Khan. Um, there's a creepy dude in the elevator. <laughs> um, I also worked on the studio for a week. So I also got to inhale dust. That was, um... That was fun. Oh, I think I found the upstairs. Okay, there we go. So they have the option for rain and no rain. Okay, how do you get to... There we go. Okay, this is Midnight Rooftop. But I need to turn the rain off. How do I do this? Okay. They used to have the menu. Where did they have the menu? It's in the pool. I think it's in the pool. Okay, we're going to try this again. <laughs> There's... That's a mirror. They hit the menu chat. <laughs> How are the cons? They were good. Um, be whiskered out of 20 years of doing events. That was my favorite. Um, I'm also trying to figure out where they hit the menu. We may have to just go downstairs again. <laughs> but I am tired. Oh, you saw the pictures. Excellent. Um, they have still hit the menu. Uh, we're just going to have to roll with it. Okay. <laughs> now that was just the elevator maintenance worker. He's got a beefy for me. He works every day's arm day, apparently. Uh, I saw your table images you shared. So nice. Great collection of classic comics. Yes. Most of those are Dave's. So I um 
I color comics on occasion. Uh, most of that's for Fantagraphics, as well as Egmont Norway. Uh, it used to for IDW, uh, but they no longer have a Disney license. So that is mostly with uh, Fantagraphics. I don't remember if Dark Horse now has one as well. Uh, we're hoping somebody picks up the floppies, because I really want to see those in shops again. It was cool going into uh, Heroes uh, Art and Hard to Find Comics and seeing my work was right there. I'm like, hey, that's pretty sweet. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more ruse. <laughs> Needs more, more uh, macro pads. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Oh wait, let me see if I remember it does this. Psh. Yep. Yeah, that's the bouncy cat. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, part of always more ruse. Heck yeah. I think there's uh, kangaroos in some of the the older Disney comics from like the 50s. Heck yeah. I would love to meet you. Oh yeah. Well, hello. My name is Eric. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, something funny. Um, so in in real life, I act the same here as I would minus the giant hunk and floofer back there um so in vr chat i'll be like hi my name is eric nice to meet you and they'll they'll stare at my hand and they don't know how to react i'm like i, I just you just kind of like air shake <laughs> but um oh that's a really cool emote i just like yeah that's awesome <laughs> with the bouncy cycle i i had it wrong i thought it was the two middle toes that are fused it's like the two end toes on a macropod's feet uh if you don't know what a macropod is uh look at joey's emote <laughs> I, I like I like me some little dudes. Um, my favorites are um, Quokus. Quokus. <laughs> if you don't know what a Quokka is, I'm gonna type this in chat and image that Google this. You will if you're having a bad day. This will this will upload. I have to I have to do this manually. Google that. <laughs> I won't spoil it, but you're gonna go on. <laughs> just just know and be like hang on oh baby quokas are even cuter than baby corgis just just saying just saying it's a, it's a it's a thing <laughs> just, just happy life choices right there image.google baby quokka oh yeah we're part of a um, bunch of twitch teams uh cult of blow high i like to say blah high. it's blow high somebody at the con had the blow high shark it's from ikea <laughs> I give you major boobs? I will give you major boobs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but yeah, I um I used to be able to turn the, the weather off and I can't. Actually, maybe maybe maybe? Oh that's a mirror. That's probably a mirror. That's definitely a mirror. Those are all mirrors. Oh well. <laughs> but thank you for the boobs. Um let's see, what are the um, for the most part, let's see, um, Thursday of Ichibankan, we just kind of arrived, we dropped off stuff, I was tired, I worked on my presentation, and then I think I passed out. Uh, we had access to the green room, which is cool, so there's the staff area, and then there's, like, the hidden room, so if you know what's there, and there's always somebody present, usually, um, trying to go back downstairs. Okay, are you familiar with this world by any chance? Alright, I will, I will go back downstairs, because I used to have access to the controls, and, um... They moved them again. <laughs> they renovated and then they renovated some more. All right. We will try to go back downstairs with the creepy guy in the elevator. <laughs> I'm sorry, the maintenance worker. Ooh, okay. There's there's two downstairs. This is one of the first worlds I had gotten to visit in VR chat. I believe this, yeah, this is the same. Um, Yeah, I don't know where it is. Nope, gotta go back downstairs. All right, doing the thing. You're the driver now. You're the captain now. Okay, that is a portal. That's the creepy dude. Um, hmm. Well. Alright, we'll go this way. <laughs> um, I have probably, <laughs> I'm probably the only person who managed to get lost in the ABC building. Um, can I open this? Nope. Can I open this door? Can I look in the door? Uh, that is the outside world. Okay, <laughs> maybe not. Alright, going to the... Can I? They have a baby gate. I cannot. I cannot go further. I will go eat some chips. <laughs> I will go eat some udon chips. So they have a bar over here. There we go. Yeah, I still have the bar. I haven't been here in a while. But yeah, this was the very first world that I but <laughs> got to spend some time in. Do um. <laughs> you guys? Oh, I'm on the counter. There we go. You have chip to it. <laughs> Let's see. There's um there's a world that I had worked on. Oh, 
There's a world that I had worked on, but um, I've kind of abandoned it. I put so much work into it. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, it's not Blue Canary Apartment. It's, um, let me double check. I've forgotten my own world's name. <laughs> Uploaded, there we go, that's helpful. Uh, the Birdhouse, okay. So sadly it's still in Community Labs, but that's okay. We're gonna pop by there. This world's a little bit dark, but it was one of my first projects. I'm also a pair of floating controllers. <laughs> so we're gonna go there. Uh, with Be Whiskered, so we're, um, previous to the anime convention, I worked and was vending at a furry convention called Be Whiskered in Durham, North Carolina. And sadly, I think we have already... Um, oh, hi, Viku! Uh, I will show you my paw beans as soon as I am loaded. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I think we have outgrown the current venue of Be Whiskered, which is sad because I love the staff. They were wonderful. I'm like, no, we already have to move. Um, but it was good times. Um, there were like little hiccups along the way, but we made it work. Uh, Banana Gamer Monkey, hello! Welcome on in! I am currently loading into another uh, world, but welcome on in! Thanks for being here, and I will happily share my beans if, uh, if I load. Whenever I load. <laughs> Anytime now. <laughs> Low VRAM, spec stuttering. Oh no, what's going on? Uh, hmm. Okay, hopefully my computer's okay. I believe it's on turbo. Baku, you have been in this world. <laughs> yeah, that's still here. And I am not loading. <laughs> I, am a, I have a bunch of diamonds at the moment. <laughs> there I am. Am I? Wait. Okay, now I am. Yeah, I've been here in a while. But yeah, this was one of the worlds I had worked on. I have some of my art here too. Actually, I'll make you guys a little bit further up. There we go. So, here's my dole whip. And if you want to play guitar, which I think I put in here for Pepsi, and jam on that. Oh, it's back! It's it's the angry Roomba. Wait, wait, I want to ride the angry Roomba. There we go. We're riding the angry Roomba now. <laughs> you can also pick. Whoa. You can also pick somebody up and go on to the uh, angry Roomba. There we go. <laughs> I also have, um, let's see, cake. This world has some cake, so if you want to have some delicious cake, it's not a lie. I could feed you a strawberry. And cream. Oh, hell no. no, you want cake? No? No? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Thank you for the hundred bits. Wait, this is your new world? Oh, um, this is one I had made a while ago. Uh, it is uh, the birdhouse. Uh, birdhouse is one word. Um, I made this a long time ago. Um, I think in 2022. I actually streamed parts of this in production. But uh, it, it had, a lot of folks were mentioning their frames were a little sad, so I moved on to other productions. Uh, I need to still fix my apartment world. It is unfortunately borked, so it, it's not quite working like it's supposed to. Okay, let's see if the little jiggly cats are working. Yes! Um, Fuma helped me fix this. I gotta, I gotta rotate it. Yeah, little jiggly cats. So, I'll put that down. I have a taco hack maker. Oh, yep, there go my frames. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's why this world got abandoned, because I need to figure out how to make things a little more efficient. I made this a long time ago. It's been 80... It's been 84 years. Yes. Also, there's an outhouse. Um, I hit... I think I hid something in one of them. Let me see. It's, it's PG, don't worry. Joey! Yes! Absolutely, Joey. You can absolutely join me. I'm on mobile. Oh, that's cool. All right. We're going to find out how that works. <laughs> yeah, there's the mallet. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> thank, thank you for the 200 bits. <laughs> So, I'm gonna meet Joey downstairs. So let's go to the non, uh, oh, I put a baby gate here. I'll just respawn. Oh, cool! I kept my mallet! Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> bum, bum. Oh, <laughs> I kept, um, kept something special in this world. Hey, Zama. Oh, I got it. Want some, want some stew strumming? 
<laughs> oh, you can also be in VR while you're in VR. Oh. <laughs> Get back here. This is literally the headset I'm using. I'm <laughs> I'll fix it later. <laughs> you learned your lesson. Oh? Oh? <laughs> so I, have, I have photos throughout the place and wanted to make it comfy. Um, the idea was to make a nice, fun, engaging place that uh, was nice to stream from. And unfortunately, it's a little, little bogged down, so I created Blue Canary Apartment, which I need to fix. So I'm going to have a, a gap in March, so I'm going to be working on my stuff back in, <laughs> in March. Oh no, I w world not compatible with- Uh, okay, I will find a new world for you, Joey. Please be on standby. Um, let me- are- is a quest- like, I have to find a quest compatible world? Um... I will find something that works for you. Okay, there we go. Um... Let's find some- <laughs> Murder 4! <laughs> I mean, I technically could. Let's see. Um... If you want to name a place, that would also work. Let's see. I am... Hmm. Okay, that's PC only. Let's see. Uh, Roof of the Rain. Hidden Heights. I'm looking for something a little more brighter. That is also quest friendly. Amber... Gl eh, you want to do Amber Glade? We could do Amber Glade. We'll try that one. Alright, I'm going to go switch over to Amber Glade. Maybe we'll make it work. Quest compatible should do, but don't change anything. I don't mind. It's all good. <laughs> What lesson did you learn, Gray? I'm very curious. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Mostly me. Uh, <laughs> so I'll go ahead and switch over to Amber Glade and talk a little bit about Bee Whiskered, because I've been away for a little bit. <laughs> oh, you are the current- yeah, you are the most recent subscriber, Gray. There. That's awesome. I just looked at my monitor. <laughs> monitor is basically to know how things are framed up. I can see you guys on there. Um, a redeems. There we go. Okay. So, let me go find a nicely lit place. Also, how was A&E? Or is that coming up? <laughs> oh, not A&E. I'm sorry. And through Northwest. That happened. a and &E is coming up. Okay. There we go. Alright, Joey. Now I can drag you over here. I have never had someone in and um, mobile. I've only seen, like, desktop. Why is this not working? Oh, duh. There we go. My left controller is weird. Okay, we'll try it with the right. Uh, request invite. Send invite. There we go. Blam! <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I ended up with two tables by accident. Um, for be whiskered, and that worked out really well. Um, a lot, a lot of friendly folks. I love seeing families bringing their kids to the event. Oh, uh, yeah, I just sent you an invite. Um, I am a mobile mess. Okay. All right, see if this one works. <laughs> we'll make it work. We're doing it live. <laughs> I still never got my points refunded. Uh, okay. Give me 30 seconds so I can do that. Figured I will do that after the stream. Uh, I will attempt to... Oh, what's going on? Don't usually like to do this live, but I will try. All right. Twitch. Do... Hi! I'll have to do it after the stream there. I'm sorry, Fenner. Hi! I have never been with somebody in mobile. Let's see how this works. I, I am trying to frame us both. Yeah, I think so. Your audio is cutting in and out, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> Wow, you're you're being fast forwarded. It's like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> Are you on Wi Fi? Oh wait, you would have to be, it's a phone. <laughs> Uh, not Wi-Fi and 4G. Yeah, like. <laughs> it's interesting. Your your character looks fantastic. Oh, you have fangs. You're, oh, you. you're a fangy roo. <laughs> are you are you at work? Are you slacking it? 
It's cutting your audio out. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm short. Here there we go. Oh, wait, wait, we can make this work. So Joey's awesome and also a fellow streamer. Oh, that worked! Okay, I heard that. <laughs> we have some audio. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, hey, your ears move. That's awesome. And, uh, oh yeah, it's funny is that the Xbox, when I look at it from, maybe it's me, like it, it's quite a version. So as long as I'm my avatar, it's okay. It's, it's pretty cool. The fact that I'm trying to be enormous. Um, are you able to be amazing. on desktop by any chance? <laughs> no? Oh, that's funny, you're like that's moving it with your one. phone. That's cool. Oh, boop you. What? <laughs> Does it have head? Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, Joey. Your audio kept going out, unfortunately. Um, oh, cool! Thank you very much for following. Um, still impressed it's even working. Yeah, his um, unfortunately his audio. Oh wait, whoops. Wait, yeah. his audio kept uh skipping, unfortunately. But it's interesting to see what what um, mobile does. This is another world I also got to experience. Oh, you're fine. Joey, it's okay. If you're able to be on desktop, I think, like, your audio was, was kind of chipmunking and, like, blah, 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 blah. if you, um, timestamp it and look at the VOD, you'll, you'll see what it was doing. But I, it's still cool that, like, I was like, oh, you did that on a phone. That's pretty sweet. Uh, they're still working things out. That's okay. But yeah, if, if you're able to get, to, like, on a computer, um, by all means, please, please come rejoin. Oh, you're fine, Finner. It's all good, but uh, I'm glad you've been following along. Uh, I started out, I used to make comics on here. Um, it was like, I was calling stuff for the, the Disney ones. It's a mix of me using headphones and 4G. Um, are you able to use Wi-Fi by any chance? It, it's all good. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember. So um, for Bewhiskered, uh, not only was I, I vending, I was also uh, working staff. So we would um, check on dealers. So just making sure if anybody need anything. Most of the time, somebody need water. I also checked on the Araceli people because I've done the solo thing a lot. And, you know, having a little extra hand. Uh, one of the things that we were doing... Um, oh, thank you very much. Why is that all the way down there? Septic God <laughs> Zero, welcome to the stream. You see if I can put that back where it was. There you go. Hey, oh, it me, it me. <laughs> Welcome on in. <laughs> My name is Eric. I'm a variety streamer, improv, and character performer. And today we're I'm a little blue fox in VR chat. It's uh, VR chat's tenth anniversary, and the fact they can do mobile is still pretty cool. Um, it's great for testing things. Uh, I was trying to say that this is the pocket of time between heading to work that I can hop onto VR chat on mobile. Sometimes sound works great. Sometimes it's awful. I understand. If you know when you might have a bit of time i can i can schedule something just just let me know because I, I know you have family obligations as well as uh your day job and stuff so i i want to be considerate but if you ever want to join me in general uh just just let me know but yeah the um the, unfortunately the audio was skipping a bit on um a mobile so yeah it is what it is <laughs> we, we we roll with what we we are given i'm trying to figure out how to make this work let's see i think i need to sit on that side okay yeah, that works. Okay, cool. <laughs> Has consumed the nuggies. How how do you feel, Gray? How do you feel about post-consumption of nuggies? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Maybe? It's thinking about it. Okay. How does post-nuggie consumption feel? I assumed and didn't want your stream to be the troubleshooting. Dude, that was my live panel. That was uh, that was literally uh, my panel in person at Ichimonkan. I am trying to get the zoomed in. There we go. I'm just going to be extra. Oh, wait. Haha. -ha. There we go. <laughs> I can adjust myself. I can just do that. It's fantastic. <laughs> no way? Oh, wait. What happened? <laughs> there are these cute little plushes in the back. Actually, wait. Can I grab these? Yes! No. It's thinking about it. Come here. There we go. <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> I tried. You like my Ikea? Thank you. This is from Mr. Cheese. And I'm part of like a, the Googly Gang. 
which is come here. That <laughs> googly gang. <laughs> I can't. What was that? Was it a googly gang? And what was the other one? <laughs> but thank you. This made me go get the actual IKEA hat. So I have one. Um, I think it's on. Yeah, it's off camera on a lamp. <laughs> oh, the IKEA mafia. Okay, googly gang and IKEA mafia. <laughs> I just made some nuggies mac and cheese. Fuck yeah, that's good stuff. Um, I unfortunately need to be careful for the next couple weeks what I eat because I'm, I'm getting a little chunky. So <laughs> I need to um, watch my diet, which is not normally what I need to do. But it's a reality of getting older. Your back's not working. Um, you, you don't have a metabolism anymore. Um, your hearing's worse. <laughs> um, taxes. <laughs> All good stuff. Ah, uh, back pain. Yeah, I think something's wrong with my back. As of last year, I'm having more of a hard time bending over. Like, I can touch my toes. I remember, uh, oh, something that happened to be whiskered on Sunday night. I asked um, Free, like, can you crack my back? He leans me back. He brings me back, cracks my back. I leaned and touched my toes. I'm like, I can touch my toes. I, yeah, I can touch my toes. I could not touch my toes for four days. I was in so much pain. Thomas, how you doing? Play Beat Saber, fix everything. Oh, heck yeah, okay. Um, I can do it, I'm terrible. <laughs> you want me to go Beat I'll, I'll, I'll go find a Beat Saber world. <laughs> I've done it before, I am. You are the master realm. Also, uh, could somebody shout out Thomas, by the way? Thomas is an awesome streamer. I think I was looking, I think you were streaming last night, I remember. <laughs> nothing wrong with being chunky. No, there's absolutely nothing wrong. I'm just like, I think that might be why my back is hurting. I'm like, I need to go fix things. Getting older is interesting. <laughs> um, I had to go to a doctor's appointment today for something unexpected. I'm like, yay! <laughs> just $114 copay. Yay, woo. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Grace says, um... They were good. I'm going to take a page out of, was it, uh, Viggo Mortensen's book when he tweeted about McDonald's french fries. When they hot and ready, it's heaven until they are damp and cold. Then they taste like hell. It's true. Fang, Fang Light says, uh, no more cardboard behind the McDonald's. Yeah, they took the boxes. I want to I chew on them. You're less playing VR chat. Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> Me, yeah, I can, I can attempt to... Badly play Beat Saber if you want. We have about a half hour, so if you would like that to request that, please let me know. It is um, VR Chat's 10th anniversary, so if there's a world you would like me to check out or recap, please let me know. I, I will do. I'm, I'm kind of visiting some old haunts in a way. Uh, let's see. Uh, Peter says, I have to go and get something to drink. Please hydrate. I will verbally redeem your hydrate. Please please grab a drink, your favorite snack, and we will chill and vibe. I'm going to be uh, streaming here till about 8 o'clock. That's Eastern Time. I'm negative 5 GMT. Uh, so yeah, please do. I have um. <laughs> Thank you, Robin Williams. I am grabbing. I'm grabbing my off-camera invisible bottle of water. I need to put a bottle of water on this on the character asset. So I am drinking the air at the moment. That's what it looks like. And thank you very much for the hundred bits. How are you doing, Thomas? By the way, it was it was again. It was wonderful to see you at MFF. I'm sorry it's so insanely busy at the table. Will you be at Anthrocon? Um, I got recent news uh, while at Ichibankan that I was accepted into uh, AC. I will have a double table. Those are eight feet tables. So I I'm gonna try to come up with something awesome. I usually try to come up with some fun ideas per each event to have something new and interesting. No idea. Looking that far ahead. Yeah, it's true, true. Um, it's it's all good. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you get paid to drink water. What a career. Oh my gosh. I th isn't that called being a runner? <laughs> Actually, no, that's Beat Saber right there. You you, ha you have to you have Oh gosh, my, my thing's so far away. You have to be hydrated to play that. <laughs> I, I am a bit wobbly. Okay, let's try to zoom in. Maybe that'll work. Come on. I am attempting to do things. My camera's like way over there. <laughs> but um, I could attempt to do it. I, I have no rhythm. <laughs> I'll probably end up on the floor eventually. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun game. I, I like watching you, Thomas. I also like watching uh, Ink Blitz. I got to also meet Ink Blitz randomly at, uh, at Be Whiskered. I was just, um, I invited him on. He, he was he was on VR chat, so I found out <laughs> while live on air he was going to be at Be Whiskered. And it's good times. Um, I, I I think I'm good for a while for conveyor belt sushi. I think I did it either two or three times. I'm like, oh my gosh. It was good though. <laughs> it was uh, rock and roll. Oh gosh, the typography. I wish I had 
taken a photo. Um, they split up the word cucumber and put it on a wall. Use your imagination. Um, someone paid someone to make that graphic. <laughs> it, um... <laughs> It was a thing. I forgot to take a photo. <laughs> no idea. Look. Oh yeah, they read that. I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, be whiskered was good times. Um, I had requested to have a certain table position so I can help watch the door, which worked out. So one of the things is like, because it's a smaller event, you don't want to overcrowd the room. If you're not supposed to be in the dealer's room when it's during setup or during the the breaks, because they need a lunch break. Um, we, we're we're the cool kids club. Uh, we we gave everybody a lunch break. Uh, we gave dealers. Um, uh, parking so that they can go off-site just in case the parking lot filled up. Um, it, it went well. Everybody everybody enjoyed themselves and I was very happy. But like uh, some folks that were staff came in. I'm like, hi, do you, are you supposed to be in here? And they're like, oh, I'm staff. I'm like, are you supposed to be in here? And I had to boot them. <laughs> but um, when, it, when it was open, like anybody can come in. And so it's like, you can wait the 15 minutes. Just just come back in 15 minutes. It's just, You can just scoot in. <laughs> we'll let you do that. Uh, I was about to say, don't forget basketball football players, and then I realized they get paid to drink Gatorade, not water. Yeah, th those electrolytes are important. Um, I, I am a, <laughs> I'm electro small. <laughs> oh, something we can also do is, uh, I think it's Happy Hill Dog Park. We can also pop by there. That was one of the first worlds I got to encounter. Um, they have dogs that you can interact with. They do respond to being pet. There's uh, haptic feedback, which is really cool. Um, this world is also pretty fun. So it's low poly, despite all the, the stuff that's in here. Um, they have a mirror and some really... Oh! <laughs> uh, hang on! <laughs> I, left, I left the computer... Uh, the computer. I left the, the... What do we call this thing? Camera! Is it working? There we go. Okay, I left it in fly mode. <laughs> there you go. I was about to run off. I'm like, this is all your stream, bye! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go to space. We're going to go to space first. There we go. Now we're in space. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's, it's not the TARDIS, but it will do. <laughs> Remember, it's bigger on the inside. What is this? This is probably a mirror. It is a mirror. Okay. So you come up here and experience a mirror. Exit stage right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and there's not a lot of gravity here, but we can jump off the edge... Oh, wait, can I go onto the asteroid? I jumped off the asteroid. Okay, apparently that's the thing. All right, see y'all later. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can actually see the ground. I can't grab the camera, but I can actually see the ground approaching. Or I can cheat. I can't cheat. I can't click uh, the uh, the respawn. Okay, well, that works. <laughs> we end up on the mountain range. You should visit Sheep of Paradise. Sure, I can do that. Let's go to Sheep of Paradise. As I flail my arms around. Okay, Sheep of Paradise. I think that's the wintry place, isn't it? I'm I'm looking at photos of everybody's snow, how it's negative temperatures, and I'm sitting here in like 50 degrees. <laughs> Alright, Sheep of Paradise. Let me look that up. So one of the cool things they did for this year, I don't know if they'll ever get to do it again, is uh, New Year's Eve was Sunday of the event. So I went to a furry con and celebrate New Year's with folks. Um, <laughs> Grandma Kagi was there. Let's see. Sheep of Paradise. I see it. Okay. Let's pop by there. Pop it on over. There you go. <laughs> Make sure if I if I miss anybody's message in chat, feel free to repost it just in case. Or feel free to flare your, your paws, pa claws, wings, whatever you have. <laughs> Alright, popping on over to Sheep of Paradise. I think I've been here. Don't remind me of the cold, so damn cold. Oh no, what's the temp like by you? <laughs> Please don't dox yourself, but uh, approximate stuff is fine. Uh, I'm in North Carolina, so it's it's not too bad over here. Oh, what did I open? Cancel that. Okay. <laughs> oh! Uh, <laughs> what, what is going on in this world? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I lick it? <laughs> This is a this is a small world. Okay, this is cute. Can I go under the bone? Nope, denied. Okay, this is this is gonna. Be, oh oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. In my area, it's twelve. Is that Fahrenheit or Celsius? Ooh, there's a little dog house here. <gasps> little dog house with little sheep's. It has little sheep's on the walls. That's adorable. Fahrenheit. Um, come come to Charlotte. It's warmer here. All right, I'm gonna grab a camera. That is an off-camera armature. Uh, armature. There we go. 
Okay, back back where I need to be. I'm gonna give you guys a piece. There we go. <laughs> I hear dishes in the background. You could say it's a it's a small world after all. <laughs> Fahrenheit temperature. Oh, I like, dude. Can I borrow that? That's that's fantastic. Fahrenheit temperature. Oh, can I go in the water? That's it. <laughs> I guess this is for the hot days. Oh, I see. There's a little animated. Do I have the audio on? I do have the. I was like, wait, why is it Battle of the Band? There we go. <laughs> yeah, there's a little sun in the back. It is not there. Barrett height temperatures. I I need to draw that now. <laughs> That's great. Um, can I go back there? What is this? Okay, apparently there's there's way more. I didn't know any of the. Whoa, I didn't know any of this is here. What? Okay, this is. They added a lot more since I've been here. What the heck? Interesting. I will definitely be exploring here. <laughs> One of the things I love about VR chat is it's community driven. So all the all the shenanigans, everything you would love to share and do. You can make your hopes and dreams and nightmares come true. <laughs> Still a work in progress. Oh, Pika P. I know him. I got to meet him at MFF. I, I had breakfast next to him. He had a shirt with one of the Shiba designs. And I mentioned about that. He's like, oh, I made that. I'm like, that's really cool. His first suit's really adorable. It's a little more kimono looking. But yeah, it's it's really cool. Pika PD is awesome. Hey, Wheelie, how you doing? How are you? You're an adorable bean. <laughs> Thank you very much. How did the con go? Oh, yeah. How was your... How, I saw photo. Safety. Okay, all right. Safety, safety, safety. Oh, not allowed in. But we can get, we can get a preview. Is there a way in there? I'm just curious. Yeah, I hope you had an awesome time. Did um did you and um Gray meet each other by any chance? How do you how do you get in here? I I guess it's just under construction. Okay. <laughs> NC Cole, how you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to remember, were you at a Chiban Con? I'm trying to remember if you were in the audience. Dogs be busy in there. They are. Oh my gosh, where were we gonna go to next? Oh my I love the little giant fire hydrant. <laughs> You got that over there. <laughs> oh yeah, it was a pleasure meeting you. That was um that was the chillest Ichiban Khan I've been to, but also a ton of fun. Um sorry about all the tech issues. I'm gonna if I do it again for that panel, I'm gonna ask him for a 30 minute buffer and a 30 minute teardown time. That way I can kind of gauge between the two. But yeah, normally uh, what I do is I have three screens over here, and what what I would normally do is have one to cue and one to give the signal. So the screen would be what the virtual audience saw as well as the in-person audience. But uh, things happen. It's, you just roll with it. Like it doesn't work. It's, uh, the funny thing is, as soon as I got back and hooked everything up, the arms and the character worked. The character wasn't pixely. Everything worked. Because of course, when you're not doing it live. Everything worked. Oh yeah, pub beans. I meant to do that for Vagoose as well. Here you go. Yeah, beans. <gasps> beans. <laughs> Remember to wash your beans. Yes, yeah, soak them real good. Gotta moisturize them. Very, very important. Take care of your beans. <laughs> also, I just dropped my off-camera coat on the floor. <laughs> so yeah, they're they're busy puppers over there. <laughs> so let's see. Another world. We'll pop in. I think it was, um, I don't know. Did, did you want me to attempt to do Beat Saber poorly? <laughs> Thomas, if you would like that, I'll do it. I'm not great. You're, you're the Beat Saber ma master. Hey, little Josh. How you doing? You're new? Well, thanks for popping in. I hope you're doing great. Um, my name is Eric. I'm a variety streamer, improv, and character performer, and old school gamer. Today we are in VR chat. I'm a little blue fox recapping. It is currently, no, God, no. Wait, wait. Me playing Beat Saber or something else? <laughs> Um, today uh, we're recapping some stuff because it's VR Chat's uh, 10th anniversary. I was also away for two weeks because um, working events and other things. Oh, thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Thank you for being here and a happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> yeah. Wait. It you. Wait. Can I? It you. Right there. <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's see. I'm going to look up another row because... Um, there's there's so many worlds and I I can't go over them all but there's just so much awesome stuff that people have come up with over the years. Uh, I think everybody's familiar with the black hat. I, I could probably uh do. It. I'm not gonna make you suffer for maybe. I can do it if you want it. I can make that happen. <laughs> I just fair warning. 
I'm terrible. <laughs> but I will do it. I will I will do it for you. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> if if you would like. Um, let's see. I will find a Aquarius, that's also an early world I had uh, visited, so let's go ahead and pop over there. There's a lot of cool features, so if, if you're not familiar with Aquarius by Finns, highly recommend that world. So let's go pop over there. It's been a while, anyway. <laughs> let's see. Boop! There you go. I miss you guys while I was in. No, no. I want to go there! Oh my gosh, I had to prep for uh, Ichiban Khan, so unfortunately I was not able to uh, make time for it. Who? What, what's going on, Joey? <laughs> but I, I, oh, Finn! Yes, yes, highly recommend them. Uh, Finn is a wonderful creator. Uh, I would love to pick their brain about a lot of things. Just this whole world is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you have a cute Thank you very much! I, 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 I blame Kipper. <laughs> He's the mastermind. I, I've just added things to him. But, um, is, uh, my fox was made by Weasel Gear. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I just really like his work. Um, I had the pleasure of showing Kipper in person the little, um, video short I submitted to Ferality's showcase at, uh, MFF. Oh, sure, sure. I'll catch you in your back. All right. I am mostly loaded in. <laughs> it's thinking about it, but I'm going to load in backwards. There we go. So this is Aquarius, and some cool stuff's going to happen behind me. So I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit so you all can see this. Uh, so when you enter this world, they have a script that runs. And oh, did it already do it? Oh, it already did the thing. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> I was trying to make a dramatic entrance, and then there it goes. <laughs> oh, actually, I can still make a dramatic entrance. We'll do this. Oh no, the door's closing! <laughs> it closed. <laughs> Take two. Just like my panel. <laughs> there we go. So this this cool this world is very cool to just chin a chill and vibe. If you like sharks and whales and rays, we got you. There's also sea jellies. Very beautiful world. Makes you feel really, really tiny. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I never got to visit the VR chat portal. I heard about it after it happened. I'm like, what? Why am I? Why am I always last? No, for these things. Also, I wish I had a tripod for VR chat, but this is this is just gonna get it. But yeah, this place is really cool. They have little uh, toy sharks in here too. Yes. Oh, they have a hammerhead. If this has been here the whole time, I never knew. There we go. Oh wait, does it blip? Or those just teeth? Hang on. Oh, it's only going to let me grab in the one place. Okay. Oh, those are teeth. Baby shark. <laughs> we'll stick you right there. But yeah, I, I did not know there was a portal. <laughs> I found out after. I love that people are doing that because it, it, it really makes it even more immersive to be able to interact with uh, folks on like anywhere in the world. And that's one of the things I love about VR chat. Uh, if there's a favorite thing about VR chat that you like, feel free to mention it in, in the chat. <laughs> Uh, let's go let's go see if we can find the sea jellies because that's one of the features I love about this world in particular let's go check it out let's go backwards because that's fun we going backwards through the tunnel <laughs> this reminds me of the Georgia Aquarium <laughs> if you haven't been there uh, it's in Atlanta it's pretty sweet yeah, I could have been on the convention side of the portal, but everyone kept crying around. Man, let folks, uh, especially with limited mobility, like, give them, give them a space. <laughs> um, Kip Kingdom. Awesome. Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome fellow. I had brought my, my chair downstairs during um, MFF, and he he made space for me, and I, I highly appreciate it. So I was able to, like, get in front. I was just chilling behind folks. He's like, no, 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 come up front. Come up front. So really, really cool dude. So yeah, if it's if it's crowded, and I'm with you, let me know. I will be like, here we go. I will make room for you. <laughs> I love this. Um, they, let's see, they're there. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this camera around so it allows mirror viewing. There we go. So that's a cool um, animated script. I love that. <laughs> I saw this the first time in desktop. So having <laughs> the fish are escaping having to have the opportunity to see it in 3d like seeing this on stream does not really give it justice it's like you're you're seeing it moving around you and these are design goals i wish i i i want to achieve this someday um also in the distance they have uh, i think they were emulating moon jelly so i'm gonna see if i can zoom in on them a little bit 
So they they pretty much act like this, and it's it's pretty cool. Um, jellies are actually a complex organism. It's not like one creature. It's like several within one, kind of like um, coral. Uh, it's immersive in there. I love it. Yeah, it's it's. I, I this is one of my favorite places. If you ever just want to like chill out, read a book, this is a great place to vibe, or just just hang out. They have an upstairs as well, and I think there's a bar. <laughs> so, if if that's your if you, that's your scene, um, they they got you. They have a bar. <laughs> I'm gonna also zoom out a little bit more. This is so much easier if I'm like recording for someone else. When you are when you are streaming, um, you are the cameraman, you're the mixer, you are the behind the scenes, you're the writer. It's everything is on you, but you're you're the whole package. I think there's a, a room off to the side. Let's see. Yeah. Excellent. So you can you can chill on the bed over here and you can continue to watch the sea jellies. I'm gonna back the camera up so you can see how that works. Okay. See if it will... Here it goes. <laughs> the bad part of the con was that one of the DJs had a smoke machine. Somehow it set off the smoke alarm. Oh, no. That happens. It shouldn't. It's it's basically sugar, but it can happen. It's, it is funny when it does. So. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, like a busker air with the drum on the back. Uh, tambourines on your ankles. Yes. Yeah, one of those. You're literally a one-man band. Writer, director, star, producer. <laughs> That's right. If if you're just doing like even with the VTuber stuff, like you're still like checking your audio levels, um, make sure the game is not crashing, you know, things like that. I'm surprised. I haven't gotten yeeted once out of VR chat. Lately it's been kicking me off and I, I don't know why. Uh I also discovered there's a there's a group of folks that do a bad movie night, so I might get more involved with that. I love MST three K. So the fact that there's a whole group that are enthusiasts for that, that meet from all over the world. Heck yeah, I'm totally for this. I'm, I need, need to drink something here real quick. I'm starting to lose my voice. There's my bottle. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Pardon me for just a moment. Yeah, great, great Willow is there. I don't believe Yuki was this year. Um, if it is uh, working out timing wise, because I I do um, guest speaking usually at Ichibankan, but I'd like to do that. I also haven't been at FC since like 2002. It's been a lot. Ooh, ooh, loggerhead. I think it's loggerhead. Where to go? How is this not? Oh, there it is. Okay, sea turtle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah. Um. Next. Okay. I I'm waiting for the Denver dealers uh, room to accept application. So I really want to apply to Denver. I've been hearing it's kind kind of a glow up. So I I really am excited about trying to. Excuse me. Uh, apply for that event. Um. I did get confirmed for Anthrocon. Um. I will be at FWA. My goal is to try to do the RSL. There's no guarantee, though. But um, if you will be at FWA, I will be there. I unfortunately had to cancel last minute due to um, a foot injury. I was really sad. Uh, I was working for somebody at the time. He's like, oh, you're probably not happy. I'm like, no, I'm not. And I, like, glared at him. So I was not happy. I had to cancel Wednesday before FWA because I didn't know what was going on with my foot. I did get a foot doctor. Uh, Syndicate Game Network. Hello. How you doing? Those are some cool modes. Let me look at that. I, I have like an invisible thing here. <laughs> How are you doing? My name is Eric. Welcome on in. Happy Tuesday. We are exploring a little bit of VR chat because it is their 10th anniversary. Um, I'm just impressed what has happened in the last 10 years. I have only been on here for about two. So I started it in 2002. Um, officially, uh, more so May, because um, I was not really able to run VR chat prior to... Um, I started setting up the computer in May. I actually bought it in April. Uh, got it from a micro center. Um, I'm excited. Charlotte is getting a micro center. Heck yeah. I don't have to drive to Georgia anymore. I drove three and a half hours to get my, my computer looked at the last time. And I had to leave it behind for two weeks. I was not happy about that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, same. That fire alarm was quite the experience. Ah, I see you were both uh, experiencing that at the same time. You were passing ships in the night. Um... Are you both planning on going to uh, A&W? <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, yeah, scared the crap of me. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I, depending on what it is, did, did they announce their 2025 dates? Because maybe maybe I'll try to go. <laughs> Thomas, are you going? <laughs> oh, those are cool. Neat. Oh, is that Cherry? Oh, did you make those, Thomas? That's awesome. I'm, I'm going to click who, who had... Come on. Load. 
oh, it's a secret word. I love it. The the secret word is banana. <laughs> it's, it's a Family Guy reference. I uh, don't think they did. Uh, I may have added that. That's cool. I I I highly appreciate you, Paul Rubens. Rest in peace. Was amazing. <laughs> I, uh, I saw a video of a uh, live, um, come on, I just want to pick the shark up. Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> um, he did a in-person live performance from, um, can I, can I not go in the room? Nope. Okay. Denied. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. It was, oh gosh. I want to say Oingo Boingo, but that's just the band. Um, shoot. Uh, several of the actors from there, Paul Rubens is included, they did a live stage performance. It was pretty cool. I have to sleep. I have college. Okay. You sleep well. Thank you very much for popping in. It was lovely to meet you. Good luck with school. School's important. Be awesome. Uh, what's going on? Oh, Mooba! I'm sorry. Oh. Sick. I'm sorry, Mubot's being a door. I am moving away from you mo um, from using Mubot. That's one of my to do things. Uh, Mubot is my nanny bot. My apologies, uh, but yeah, thank you very much for for coming there. And Mubot, Hakuna, your tatas, please. Oh my gosh, I, I love these little pool tables. So this this in a nutshell is uh, Aquarius. Very cool. Um, I was gonna say Char. Uh, Finns has also, or is it just Finn? Let me double check. I wanna I wanna credit you correctly. Uh, Aquarius. Fins, it is plural. Okay. Fins has created a number of worlds. Uh, let me see if it'll let me pull up the actual title. So if you want to check out Fins stuff, or you can just search Aqu Aquarius. Okay. So, yes! Oh my gosh, they have uploaded a lot of worlds. What? Oh my gosh, there's there's a lot of them. Submerge, Storm Day, Shinto. Oh my gosh. Shins? This one I like a lot. Shark's Fin Cafe. That's a that's a very good spot. It's a small world, but we can pop over there. Uh, Magic Heist is a lot of fun. Um, that can make you nauseous. Just just a heads up. If you do like uh, motion games, um, it, is, it is a lot of fun. I was in desktop and got nauseous. I sat in my chair. No, actually, I went in VR. Gion Street is really good. District Rubato is a little intense heavy on a system, but is very beautiful. All these, I believe, are PC worlds, but I'm gonna pop over to the cafe. This was a spot that I had streamed from a while ago. Highly recommend this one. <laughs> Anthem Northwest, January 3rd to the 6th, according to the Northwest Wiki. Is that for 2025? Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, let me find out when Ichiban Khan is happening next, and I will definitely consider that, because, um, <laughs> I'm slowly collecting folks from Washington, like, I keep meeting people from Washington State, so, um, I'm tr gosh, there's a little otter guy's name I'm trying to remember, um, he has a tan cap, I think, I can't remember if there's a piercing in the cap, he's a little otter, looks like he's blushing, and I'm blanking on his name, but he's also out in Washington. <laughs> Uh, Thomas, do you know who I'm describing by any chance? <laughs> is he's from Team Ot 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 from uh, Party Animals when they were when they were playing that? I forgot who was hosting it. <laughs> Me and names is a struggle. <laughs> it's the one thing I tend to forget is like names, names of things. <laughs> faces, absolutely, I can remember faces. It's just names I struggle with. Uh, not sure. Okay, no worries. Um, I feel taller. Did I? I may have sc scaled myself up. What? Wait, it's snowing? Oh, they changed it. Okay. Yeah, I remember it raining, but um, it's um, apparently it's the Midwest right now. <laughs> it's snowing out there. Oh, they have a TV? That's new. Let's see if I can show that. Yeah, for the most part, it's the same. You have a little TV? And I'm curious. There, there's a door back there. I wonder if we, if that's just a facade. <laughs> Can I go in? Nope, it's a facade. <gasps> yep, it's still here. Okay, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'll be going to A and W again. Oh, no worries, no worries. Um, I would like to go. I would like to check out some West Coast cons. I would like an actual vacation. So I attempted to vacation at a con. I'm gonna keep anonymous because I don't want to draw attention to them. Um, I had saved up. I road tripped all the way from North Carolina, several states, somewhere in the Midwest region. Again, I'm going to keep them no, no. Uh, I might go to A&W again, maybe two cons at the same time. Ooh, A&W, are you doing that back to back? That's a lot. That's a lot of con. Oh my gosh. Um, Thomas, did you go to FC? I, I think 
you had mentioned about that? Um, how was your experience with that? A lot of folks had a great time and I'm, I'm all for that. Ooh. There's noms in there. Stuff I can't have. Because <laughs> I'm on a diet. I'm sad. <laughs> oh wait, do they still have the typo on the menu? Let's see. Um, cabbage smoothie. Who wants a cabbage smoothie? I'm buying. It's $1.20. Cabbage smoothie is around the house. Water is free. This is good. Uh, I went to a and w Oh, okay. How was your experience with that? It, getting the... There you go. <laughs> How was your experience at A&W? Man, I wish I had gone this year. All the cool kids were there. <laughs> Wanted uh, to finally meet Electro. Oh, yeah. It, he's from Florida, right? Or is it a different Electro? Electro, Flyby, Sammy, and a few others. That's great. Oh, my gosh. Well, Gray and um, <laughs> Wheelie were also there. I sadly had to wait from a distance because I, I would like to go in the future. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. It opens. Sweet. Okay. That still opens. Ayo. Oh, I thought of a place I would love to share the cat world. So if you if you like some donuts, we got you. <laughs> also, we have booze. I'm just gonna shove that all over on the floor. If you would like a margarita, <laughs> we will find a speakeasy. <laughs> or you can have the come here. It it's stuck. <laughs> they glued it to the shelf. Uh, A&W felt like such a vanilla economy. I'm used to a wilder crowd and the con doesn't really uh, promote that. Dude, go to FWA. <laughs> they have um, a lot of after hours things. <laughs> I don't really, it's not my thing, but um, oh, Electro Wolf. Okay, Electro Paws one I'm thinking of from Fleur. Uh, he's talking about Electro Wolf. Okay, gotcha. Let's see. Uh, can I have a muffin? I would like a muffin. Hey, okay, chocolate cake. We got some Ikea discontinued Black Forest cake. There you go. <laughs> Good times. Awesome. <laughs> Nom. Man, they took the, they took my favorite cake away from Ikea. At least the one by me. I'm a little sad. I'm a little salty just because there was my favorite cake. Uh, FWA has the shiny stuff, yeah, and a beer taste. Oh? Tell me tell me more about that last part. I'm, I, you, you got my attention. There's beer tasting? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, something happened. Uh, said Shadow Wolf too. Hello, welcome to the stream. My name is Eric. Happy to have you in. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> we're uh, we're sharing some worlds here in VR chat. Uh, is their tenth anniversary? So thanks for coming along. But yeah, I I'm looking forward to FWA. Um, whether or not I get into the RSL, I'm flexible. It's it's all good. <laughs> oh, headpads. Hey, care. Let me let me <laughs> and and, and Paw Beans Part 2, because I had to redeem for Paw Beans for me. There you go. Beans. <laughs> Remember to soak and uh, moisturize your beans. <laughs> I'm going to also find my chair. <laughs> so I sit, I sit, spoiler alert, I sit in VR because I'm wobbly. <laughs> you had my curiosity, now you have my attention. That's right. That's exactly, that's exactly how that works, Gray. <laughs> Last year, FWA had a beer vendor set up in the lobby. Buy tickets and go get glasses of beer. Ooh, okay. I was, last time I was after. Uh, FWA. Um, when did they start? Was it was it last year that they started that? Because that was with Justin uh, in 2022. He cannot be around the alcohol halls because he'll get very sick and or um, not nice things will happen. Like if he's smelling it, it gives him a headache. If he drinks it, he can potentially go in cardiac arrest. So um, I did not know about the beers, but um, if I'm not with him next year, uh, at the, or this year, I'm sorry, at the con, I will happily check out the beer session. Was it limited between certain hours or was it like an all day thing? Because if I'm stuck in the earth alley, I'm, I won't be able to. But if it's in the evening, heck yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. that. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> go, go sample and learn about beer. Um, I learned JD Puppy and um, Dante are very knowledgeable about beer because we went to a, a German restaurant and he was describing some things. Uh, limited hours. Okay. I will look into that. That sounds like a lot of fun. I would be happy to do that. If, if you will be there, let me know. I will happily uh, hang out and vibe with you and sample beer. I think that would be really cool. <laughs> Let's see. I'm, I'm very short. Wait, can I? There we go. <laughs> Adjust myself. Um, what was another one? Oh, the cat, the cat rooms. Let's see. How much, how are we in time? We'll go to one more world. Um, there's a cat themed world that, uh, Fuki had introduced me to. I had like pop by it, but they, um, they expanded it, so let's see. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on. Recent furry penthouse. I just came across something that just said furry penthouse. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, there's a furry themed pub in um, sh uh, gosh, it's in Japan. Um, I forgot the name of the, the part of the city. Um, it's called Pop Pads. <laughs> 
they have multiple vendors there, and it was like a two to three hour window. Oh gosh, there's probably gonna be crowded as heck. Uh, the lobby carpet stank of beer all night. Oh no. I saw them out there with the scrubber machine for quite- Oh no, that sounds horrible, I'm sorry. I feel really bad for the folks that have to clean it up. Let's see, um... I'm trying to remember the name of the cat world. Booty doo doo doo. My phone made anything. <laughs> I forgot to stick it on vibrate. There's a lot of worlds. <laughs> I have 100 worlds saved on worlds 2 and 99 on this one. Oh my gosh. Um, did you have any particular favorites that you recall from the uh, beer sampling? I'm very curious. By the way, I loved your fireside chat. I, I got to tune into that for a little while. I was uh, picking up Brian from the airport, um, if you know Brian Reynolds. Um, but yeah, I, was, I happily tuned in for as long as I was able to. Uh, please do more of that. That was that was really good. I, I, en I enjoyed watching you doing that. Um, I don't remember the name of the cat world. <laughs> This is a nice one. Uh, fondue underscore Udon. That's also a lot of fun. But th it's a little tiny world, but it's a good vibe area. And you can play with um, fondue assets. That's a lot of fun. Uh, might be in my other list. Okay, let's let's try worlds too. Maybe it's in there. It's something with cats. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't think it's cat house. Let's see. Never have I ever... I would do that with friends. Let's see. If I can't find it, we'll, we'll just find a different world. And again, if anybody would like me to visit a particular world, if there's something that... Um, oh, <laughs> Recursive Room is fun. I just wish it worked better with cameras. But uh, if there's a world that you would like and you would like me to experience, uh, feel free to suggest. I am attempting to find one particular one <laughs> from the fog. Uh, that's a fun world. Um, this one's okay, since we only have a few minutes left. Let me, let me do this. This is called the Ink Room. The Ink Room by Trixalized. Uh, yep, that's the whole name. Trixalized. There we go. We're going to pop over there. And let me see who's currently... Well, we're, while we're late, waiting to load in, let me see who's currently on the, the Twitch.tv. There we go. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Oh, I, I know who we're going we're gonna to read. Excellent. And again, thank you all for being here. Okay, so this world is not quite what it seems like. Why am I... <laughs> I'm loading on the outer part. So, anything I touch in this room, the canvas to the floor, will replicate. So, if I do this, <laughs> it makes another me. <laughs> if you haven't been to Afterglow, it's fairly new. Oh, yes! We can, we can pop over there. Sure. We can run a little bit longer. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this backwards. Okay. <laughs> Wait, jumping on the wall <laughs> that's cool <laughs> have you been here thomas <laughs> all right so we'll go over to after you go oh i think they have a pool there right it's like a big maze all right we'll go pop over there i was there recently with tabo if it's the place i'm thinking of all right go to the top of the Yes, I have them there. Uh, Fort Duvet, uh, Dreamlight Drive-In, and Afterglow were the recent worlds I had favored. Okay, let's go pop over there. <laughs> Grace says that fire alarm at a and still pops up in my mind. I was surprised seeing the instant <laughs> how instant my reaction was in terms of evacuating. The main thing I was proud of was seeing another person shaking from the cold. Oh no, did they kick you all outside? I gave him my cloak. I wasn't too sure if he was going to warm, warm him up, but I gave it to him. Dude, if you're stuck outside, I got a story. Um, was anybody at uh, MFF 2009? Because I got a story. <laughs> I was a guest at that one um yes this world is very cool i'm <clears throat> i'm gonna give you guys a tour as i tell a story um i used to teach figure drawing classes and because of this experience no matter what bring a coat bring an umbrella bring a coat clerk no that we that wasn't in 2009 that, i thought that was in 2010 i wasn't there the year because i was i started a new job let me think it's 2011 that was either 2010 or 2011. It wasn't Chlorine Con. I missed that one because I started a new job. Um, where was I starting at? Let me think. Maybe it was 2012. Let me think. Gosh. No, 2012 I went back because I was there with Justin. Where did I start? Hmm. It was 2012. 
I don't remember. <laughs> Someone Google that, please. Um, but 2009, I was there because I was guessing 2007 and 2009. They brought a bunch of us back. So I know it wasn't 2009. <laughs> but but there was an alarm that did go off. So let's see. I'm going to try and remember how to get upstairs. There we go. Um, so in 2009, I ran a figure drawing class. We blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Do I just jump down? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, no, I'm going the right way. Okay. Um... So I ran three classes. It was clothed people, fursuiters, because, you know, furry con, and naked people. <laughs> That's right. I had All my backup people came, including me. Um, half the, and this happened every time, half the yeses wouldn't show up, but all the backup peoples would. It was great. So this is a really, really beautiful world, by the way. <laughs> It's very, very glowy, very futuristic. I like it. Um, so I, I held the first one. That was fine. I, I dragged some friends in. They, they didn't have to strip or anything. It just model, look awesome. And I treat it like a normal figure drawing class. So you you draw them from different angles with whatever materials. I, I kept a few extra materials to help folks. Oh, this is cool. We. <laughs> And if somebody needed paper, I brought some extra paper. And then I would say, like, halfway through, after an hour, we're all going to change sides. So if you're on the right side of the room, you're moving to the left. Because that's actually a tip I got from a art, art teacher uh, back when I was in high school. So your butt is not glued to the floor, and you, and you were not outlined in a Sharpie. So those are some tips I had learned, and I incorporated that into my teaching. Well, during the uh, naked session, <laughs> aka the tasteful nude uh, session, a uh, fire alarm went off. I was one of the models. Keep that in mind. Um, hey, it worked. Okay, you usually end up on the roof of this. Um, check this out. This is cool. So, a friend of mine who I, I haven't seen him in a long time, he went by the handle of the architect. He was there. He, he was not happy about this situation. But um, we all had to evacuate. I had clothes with me, but I wore shorts and a robe. I was I was given a robe to borrow. So I had a robe and boxer shorts. Also, it's fucking cold outside because it's Chicago. So the lesson I learned is this. Bring a coat no matter what. And find the closest fursuiter. If you're freezing, go hug a fursuiter. <laughs> they will be your best friend for uh, however long you were stuck outside. There you go. We got donuts. <laughs> oh wait, can I throw it? Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna toss it in the water. Did it work? Oh hey, it bounces in the water. That's awesome. Oh, there you go. Physics! <laughs> so, that was a thing. Um, one of the years I could not make it, um, there was the chlorine incident. Um, they are still investigating. That is still an ongoing investigation. Um, jars of a substance were opened in, I believe it was the Hyatt's hall stairwells, and people got sick. I don't think anybody was, like, permanently injured as a result of that, but unfortunately, people were stuck outside. I'm really dark over here. People were stuck outside, and it's Chicagoland. It's not, I mean, it's Rosemont, but it's Chicagoland in the wintertime. So, not ideal. They eventually opened the convention center. So, this is all before the convention center was really incorporated into... MFF's roster. There we go. I was going through a wall. But yeah, this place is really cool. Anyway, I want to thank you all. Oh, thanks for the tip when we're starting our, our Austin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be as bad in Texas. But Chicago, you got the lake over there. Uh, you got you got the ocean at least near nearby in the bay. But um, yeah, lesson learned. Uh, always bring an umbrella when you travel because you never know. It will mount soon when you're not expecting it. And if you're hosting a figure drawing class... Bring all your clothes and a jacket with you, because you never know. Even if it's summer, bring bring something, because if you get kicked outside, <laughs> you're SOL. Um, some of the people in the upper levels of the hotel got to stay where they were, so they're just watching this chaos outside. I was in North Carolina at the time. I think I woke up Sunday morning, if I recall. Uh, I was at a friend's house, and it was on the news or, or something. It was... I don't know. I don't remember if I was still using LiveJournal at the time. It was uh, pre-Twitter, I believe. I believe it was pre-Twitter stuff. Like, Twitter still existed. It was just less used at the time. Mostly LiveJournal. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to I'm gonna cue uh, Inky Blitz over here. We're going to go say hi to 
a very awesome G. <laughs> In Ink Blitz. I'm sorry. I keep wanting to call him Inky Blitz because a friend had a cat named Inky. So thank you for being here. I will be back again on um, Saturday uh, starting at 3 o'clock. That's Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, game will be TBA. Maybe I'll do Party Animal. I'm thinking about it. Anybody want ra to raise a paw, claw, or wing if you are interested in Party Animals for Saturday? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the thanks for watching screen. Please stick around. You get extra channel points for uh, following in on the raid. Uh, no obligations, but if you would like to, um, that would be awesome. Let's get a, we'll get a big raid going on. All right, let's get, um, let's get a blitz up. There you are. I found you. Cool. <laughs> let's do slash raid. Ink. Let's. I think it's working now. There we go. <laughs> Raid has been created. Excellent. And I believe he is doing art. So you're going to hear a second voice. Heck yeah. Eight good beans. I appreciate you all. <laughs> I will see you soon. Thanks for sticking around. And I love you all. Happy Tuesday. And I'll catch you on Saturday. I got something that I use here. The avatar. P-A-U-R. It's so big and so complicated it needs its own project and then there's some where the makers will recommend for you to uh, just use a new project if you want blue canary hey blue canary welcome to the stream and welcome on raiders how you doing today